What's up, guys? I am Thomas Dobaziola. Welcome to the Dope As Usual podcast. This is my co-host, Marty O'Neill. What's up, guys? What's up? Back. Guys, um, we're just going to get straight into this uh, nonstop. I always talked about it earlier. You guys asked for Adam Sandler. You asked for Goblin. You asked for Eric Khan every two seconds. And then this next person you ask, all, I, I was telling Marty, I think even more. So, you, finally, I'm sorry it took so long. This is the Fulcrum episode. How you doing, man? What's good, my friend? How Thank you, you doing? for having me. Thanks for having me. What do you want to go by? You said... Uh, Fulcrum, your real name? Ian. Ian's Ian. good. Yeah. There we go. Ian's good. So what's the Damien Luck? You just chose your middle Damien name and went with it? Damien's my middle name, yeah. And I was named after my grandpa, so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to make my channel after my middle name, like to show some love to my grandpa type shit. Cool. Yeah. All right. Where, uh, so is, this, is this your first interview? Yeah, my first interview. All right. My first podcast interview, yeah. All right, so here we go. I'm going to ask the questions that most people don't know anything about. Okay. Where are you from? Where'd you go to school? All this shit. Uh, I'm from Antioch, Brentwood area, East Bay. Okay. Like, I live 40 minutes east of San Francisco. I moved around like cities in the East Bay throughout my life. But yeah, I went to school in Brentwood. And yeah, it's a nice, a nice neighborhood. Cool, man. It's a nice neighborhood. It was pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. Yeah. Well, I don't, I've never asked. How, how old are you? I'm 23. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. How old are you guys? I'm 33. 33? 36. 36, hell yeah. Okay, nice. so because when we were, when Marty booked you, go, is he over 20? You look yeah, that's young what as everyone shit, says. Bro. That's what everyone says. Yeah, like, is this what, 18 years old? Because you, you look very young. So yeah. I wasn't sure, like, are we legally allowed to smoke weed around somebody that's not 21 yeah, yeah, in California? Yeah. So yeah. that's why I wanted to Because I saw sure. some of your videos going into schools, and I'm like, this motherfucker's yeah. in school. Yeah, like, I was oh. going to some colleges. Oh, it was, it was, it was JC's and shit? Yeah, like, um, Oh, they hated you, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I just uh, did you even go random, there? Nah, just random <laughs> yeah. ass classrooms I didn't attend. I'll just go. Oh, I thought you were in stuff. school. Nah, I'm not in school. So when you're talking to that teacher, that wasn't your teacher. No, it was a random ass teacher, bro. Oh, and it doesn't matter because you're not going to get yeah. reprimanded. I mean, okay, so I'll, I'll be Reelington with you, my friend. I used to go to that school like a few years ago, but I, so I have one more semester if I ever want to get my associate's degree. Yeah, really? I'm one semester, one yeah, class away. You're gonna go back. What's your What's your school? What's your class that you have left? Like, um, what's the one left? Business, accounting, yeah, managerial accounting. Managerial uh, accounting. okay. And some other math classes. Algebra two is the yeah. only class I haven't done. Fuck that shit, I can't bro. do it. Fuck I sit shit, there and bro. go, "Wow, well, that's why I sell drugs." Fuck I'm leaving. Shit, bro. It's hard. <laughs> Are you good at geometry? No. Wow. I'm wow. terrible. Fucking, I almost didn't graduate high school because I had, I had an F in Algebra 2. Algebra 2, I had an F. Yeah. That was it. I only passed Algebra 2 in high school because wow. I went to Oregon and my teacher liked me. And yeah. he just passed you me. You finessed that and shit. He was cool. And I was from three miles away from his wife. Where she, she grew up right next oh, to yeah. Merced, where I'm from. Hell so yeah. we made a connection yep, like instantly. Yep. He looked like fucking Santa Claus. He was hell tight yeah. as hell. Hell yeah. Yeah. So, okay. You went to college and you just stopped. Yeah, I dropped out. I dropped out. Why? I feel like I wasn't fulfilling my my purpose. Like it was real, taking real it was quick, taking can you, me. Can you move it just a little bit closer? It was taking me away from there the stuff go. I wanted to do. Um, going to college. What were you doing? Like, what was your passion besides school? I was making music. Like, when I wasn't at school. Okay. And yeah, I've been making music way before I was doing the YouTube stuff. And that's yeah, he how he, I was, got he showed me too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, for like five years now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's on SoundCloud and whatnot? Yep, yep. So you're making music, you're making beats, you're making beats, songs yep, beats. and shit? I started producing like 10 years ago. 10 years ago, yeah. As a little kid? Yeah. Uh, For like homies? Just yeah, I school? started trying to make dubstep and then I, I was messing with Odd Future Wolfgang and I liked how Tyler, the creator, produced his own tracks and that's what inspired me to... Left Brain and all those fools yeah, too. Yeah, Left Brain, yeah. Uh, what was it? Uh, uh, Black and White, Yellow... Oh, come on. Come on. That, know, that, there's an album. It's split in the middle. I have it. I feel dumb. I know the words of the songs. Fuck. It's odd. It's left brain and uh, someone else. They made Is it. it mellow CD. hype. Mellow hype. Yeah. Thank you. Mellow. You're hype. the man. Hell it's yeah. mellow I'm, hype. I mess bro. with mellow hype heavy. I love That's that. That first album that came out was so sick. Hell yeah. What's the time? 
six minutes here. I think we can start a little early if you uh, feel okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's uh, we're going to start smoking a little early. Debut oh, yeah. podcast interview. It's goddamn yes, legendary. Sir. Yes, sir. Here we go. Here we go. Here yeah. we go. This is Zope. Zope? Hell Zope. yeah. Nice. Damn. You twisted this one up too? Yeah, I'm trying to roll with one paper. I've been rolling everything with two papers, and they're too fat. Mm-hmm. And they get air pockets. Yeah. Can you bust out that other ashtray? And um, I've been, that's why it's just a normal joint. Usually they're fat. It's be- It's quite actually beautiful, bro. Oh, thank you. But bro, I actually, How did we describe dude, it? Dude. It's like artwork. I want to tell you five things, bro. Like, i kind of been holding it in. Oh, man. Yeah, bro. Like, you promise you won't judge me, bro? Go. Yeah, because before I got here, man, at the end of the day, bro, I'm just going to let it out, bro. I'm obliviated, 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 obliviated. My homie's been waiting for it. Look at his fucking face. He's been waiting for it. The way you put your head down and fake cried on me right now. You felt it? it. You felt it? I I knew where you were going. (laughs) I I had to do it to him. My bad, my bad. You're going to do like a a theatrical version of it, bro. I like the way you did that one. Thank you. But besides that, yeah, I've been trying to roll a little skinnier. But I have some fatter joints coming up. I just feel like they're smoking better. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Flavorful. Wow. Mu- yeah, it's good, right? Yeah. It's good. I've I'm smoked not- soap before. It tastes exactly like the one I smoked. Yeah, this one burns good. It's from a, I, I couldn't tell you what company. It has like the the Fight Club Spar Soap. What the heck? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, But it says soap instead of Fight Club on it. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. You know the crazy it. Mylar packaging, all these fancy brands and shit? It's one of those. I'm not sure what it is, though. It's fire, though. All right. So you're making music for 10 years. What are you making music at 13? Who are you producing music and what are you doing? Because that's fucking young. I'm just. I started off trying to make dubstep. Yeah, like you were saying. Dubstep. And then, yeah, I was listening to Odd Future Wolfgang. And then I was listening to Young Lean Heavy. Young Lean's one of my favorite favorite artists of all time. Young Lean's dope. Isn't he from Sweden, right? Yeah, he's from Sweden. He's cool. I love Sweden too. I saw that fool in LA one time, remember? Oh, Young Lean drove by me in like a. Oh, you've seen man. him before. I saw him one time. Wow, Unless dope. the kid has the same fucking tattoos and just yeah. loves Young Lean and drives a really nice Porsche. Yeah. Like, unless it wasn't. But I remember him traveling. Oh, my God, Young Lean. I love that kid. I, I heard about him, like, 2015, 16. Like, he was a kid, right? Yeah, he was, like... 17, was, 16? When he first came on the scene, I think he was, like, 13, 14. Was man. he? Yeah, like, some of his first songs on the internet, he was, like, 13, oh, 14. He, he's a uh, kid that came up in SoundCloud. His music's mm-hmm. different. I don't know if it, if it's, like, on your, what you would listen to, but it's, I fucking like it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's like, more Swedish like, rap. Rap, so, like, yeah. like, yo, I took some pills, and I'm just laying here. Yeah. <laughs> listening to music flow. Like, that's, yeah, that's how what the, it sounds like. That's yeah. what it sounds like. Right. <laughs> I All like right. it. I like right. it. Good description, yeah, I like it. So you're 13, you're making music, mm-hmm. going to school, doing your thing. Yeah. When you start making actual videos? My whole life, I've been making videos. My whole life, I've been into YouTube, like doing skits with my cousins and stuff. Yeah, I've I've had so many different YouTube channels that I was just like trying to get something going, like Minecraft videos, goddamn skating videos. I was doing like commentary videos at one point too. But I think in 2018, that's when I was watching like, all these different weed tubers and like you, THC, Eric, like all these big ass weed tubers, like making videos, smoking weed. I was like, you know what? I could do this and like maybe bring my own like value to it. Yeah. And then that's what I started doing in 2018. But I was doing it on a different channel, not even Damien Look 925. It was like on an old ass channel and the videos aren't even up anymore. Oh shit. Yeah. I started Damien Look in 2019 though. Okay. And then you just started going hard with the vlogs. Yeah. Yeah. At first it was just doing like hot box videos and stuff for the first couple years of the channel. And then last year in 2021, I started going into the stores with like my stizzy or my plug play and just getting faded in the stores and interacting with people. And then like that's vlogging, dude. Yeah. Because vlogging for, and YouTube kind of stopped and now it's starting to come back. Yeah. Hell yeah. I see people are starting to be hell excited yeah. again about it. Hell yeah. All right. So 2021, you're going hard with the Faded in this, faded in that. Uh, basically, series of you living your life out in Antioch. Yes, yes. So, are you? My question is: When you're making these videos, what is you're just you're just having fun at, at a point, yeah. right? Because yeah, as yeah, a content yeah. creator, you're not sitting there going, "All right, how can I make a million dollars? Let me start making weed content." Yeah, it was. It's not like that. I'm assuming. Not at all. Not at all. It was. Um, 
I've always the purpose of my videos is to let people know that like it doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter what age you are, like you could truly do whatever you want to do if you put your mind to it. And I say that in every single one of my videos, every single one of my live streams. I think the way I get I just got all this attention from smoking in the stores to like to let these kids know they can truly do whatever they want to do. Like if in my videos like halfway through I'll start letting them know the truth like yo all we have is the present moment, my friends. We don't have the past. We don't have the future. You guys could truly do this, too. Like, I'm just like a skinny Asian kid. Like, it doesn't matter what age you are. You could truly do whatever you want to do. The way you said that is the way Tommy Chong said that, too. Mm -hmm. Very Real? similar. Yep. Oh, wow. Yeah. Exactly. So that uh, present is the only thing that matters. Basically what you yeah. said, but he said it in like a high as fuck ass way, but it was great. It was yeah. worse than yeah. Yeah, older man, like wisdom. The way Tommy you said, Chung's dope. he's awesome, bro. He's dope. He's all, that's why we moved in here because it was so fucking hot when filming. I thought he was gonna fall over. Oh, wow. oh, I wow. saw a bead and I went, oh. How was that meeting him, bro? That's crazy. he's cool. He's a cool dude. He's a very nice man. Like, he's, he's awesome. awesome. Super cool guy. And he supports the podcast. Did it feel like yes. the Matrix broke when you met him? No, I don't have. I haven't had that moment yet. You haven't? Uh -uh. Damn. Not yet, dude. I'm gonna be real with you. This is trippy as hell. Sitting. In the goddamn studio with Marty and Dope as your other brother. Let's go. Appreciate you being here. Before we started, you're like, me and my mom used to watch your shit. Yeah. I I'm appreciate sure, yeah. that. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, man. That's just hell of That's awesome to hear. I love to hear that. Hell yeah. That's cool as shit. I'm, I always get stoked when people are like, no, I watch your shit too. I'm like, oh, different conversation. Because you know, when you don't really know somebody, you go on a shit. Well, it's your first interview. But if you don't know anything about somebody, yeah, it's harder to like, hey, we have a connection. I know all you. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's most different. definitely, yeah. most definitely. Yeah, and we want to be a place that pulls from the community and like, you know, like we listen to the fans. We want to we wanna highlight people from this community that are like coming up. And you guys set the course. blueprint for this shit. Like you guys have, you, this is a dope ass like platform you've built, bro. Like this is it's crazy. It's crazy. I, re you. I respect Push Trees and the Dope As Usual podcast. The whole thing is crazy, bro. Thank you, I've man. been a fan since, since for fucking years, bro. Fucking years. Well, I'm fucking hyped to hear that shit. Yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. Thank you, dude. Yeah, right when I met you, I'm like, bro, I've been a fan. I'm like, yes. It's just a different connection, man. Now we're like, oh, we can talk about certain things because you know what we're talking about. Yeah. It's like yeah. There, there's inside jokes now. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It can go a different a different layer. Yeah, exactly. hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Way different. Um, And you said, go ahead. Well, I was just going to say, you listen to the podcast with your mom, you said. Uh, you, Back you in the day... Me and my mom used to watch the Stizzy live resin like reviews that Thomas would do. No shit, yeah. epic. Yeah. So, because I saw a picture on your Twitter, your dad with a whole bundle of fucking weed shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gave my dad a puff coat. They smoke. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm getting to. Yeah. So it sounds like yeah, like your parents are like kind of yeah. My dad. So basically, when I was 15 years old, my dad was like, "Yo, so." My dad's an ultra runner. He was like, I'm in a lot of pain. I run ultra a lot runner. Of, yeah, he's an ultra. You runner. said that to you guys. His dad was like a runner, and then when yeah. I saw the picture, go, this motherfucker's athletic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <We're>, <laughs> I was about. out in Berkeley with him, and he was like, Yeah, I just been sore, and like I've been just looking at different ways to like help me feel better. And then he showed us his medical card, and I was like mind blown. I was like, What the hell? Smoke yeah, me. I felt like betrayed. I was like, Why would you do that, Dad? Why would you? Oh, do you didn't that, smoke dad? yet? No, nah, I was probably 14 actually. Yeah, I was 14. I didn't smoke yet. I was like, oh, why would you do that shit? Why would you do that shit? Sorry. It's all good. It's my, just my, just my uh, discreet friend. business partner. <laughs> Look at his face. He's so embarrassed. I love it. Sorry. Your dad was like, yo, here's our medical card. And at first you thought like, you do drugs? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, shit. I was kind of like, I, yeah, I thought it was weird. I thought it was weird. Wow. So he showed you and says, this helps me. Yeah. He was like, this helps me. Like, I'm... I'm sore all the time. It helps me like run better and stuff. Yeah. Did that open your mind to like maybe weed's not so bad? Not necessarily then. Maybe a year later when I was 15, I found out that my younger sister was. And that fucking blew my mind. How much younger yeah. is she? She's like two years. Two years younger Today than She's me. 13 smoking? Yeah. She found your dad's weed, huh? Nah. Oh, she, okay. she had some badass friends. She had some badass <laughs> Okay. Friends. Some badass friends. Well, the Bay, too. The Bay culture is like, yo, we get high and we wear yeah. hoodies. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was kind of breezy out here. Everyone, bro, in the Bay Area, kids are smoking in sixth grade. Dude, I remember kids in fifth, sixth grade smoking weed at Tanaya. Well, well, sorry, Tanaya. In Merced, where I used to grow up my school. Yeah. I remember a little kid, but I was like, damn, you That's kids are crazy. bad as fuck. Were they doing it in elementary school at your school? No, not at school, but I knew of kids that had already tried weed in like no. fifth grade talking about it. No, well, what? That's crazy. 
No, I won't say his name, crazy. his full name, but my some guy I know named Sean. He was smoking it like third, second grade, I remember. Ooh, but Christ. his mom, he would sneak. And his it mom's wasn't. Weed. There was no vape pens. It wasn't so sort of like. No, he was smoking be. bowls off of fucking his mom's pipes. That's crazy. He's crazy gotta be shit. the wokest person on earth if he's still smoking, bro. He's still smoking. Yeah, wokest he's like a full on dad family guy. I saw. Wow. I just got Facebook recently, <laughs> so I'm seeing all these fools I haven't seen in forever. I'm like, you're a dad. You sell. Co- you're a pilot. Like, oh wow. shit! I used to do fucking ecstasy with that guy. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's just weird getting a little older. It's like, wait, people got families now. Um. So sorry. So your mom smokes weed too, or she's yes. wow. So you so when do you start smoking? If you're 15, I'm sorry, you have the exact opposite story of everyone. It's always I smoke weed. My parents are like, hell no. Yeah. Except you're like, no, mom and dad, you guys get high. Well, so I started smoking. The first time I smoked was when I was 16. I ate edibles when I was 15. That fucked me up. Oh, so that was probably a bad experience, huh? Yeah. First time getting high yeah. was edibles. Well, the first time I did edibles, it was a decent experience. I just kept eating until I couldn't eat anymore. Gotcha. Like the food was literally couldn't go down any further. Like maximum amount of food like entered my body with the munchies, man. That shit was crazy. That shit was crazy. Uh-huh. I miss those days like <laughs> so <laughs> high. Like yeah, uh. yeah, bro. Yeah, it doesn't happen anymore often. But so that was your first experience smoking weed was a year later. How'd you find 16? out about your mom? Um, my mom didn't start until recently. Oh, shit. Yeah, my mom didn't start till recently. Post you being on, on YouTube and shit? Uh, before before I started doing the WeTube shit. Before I started doing the WeTube shit. Maybe 20, 2017. Oh, shit. Oh, Fumble. Fumbling. Ruski. Fumblington. Oh, Marty, that was so sad. No, don't throw it away. Here. This uh, shit is smoking. It's going good. I like it. So... You smoke at 16? What's that situation? How do you do it? What is this? Okay, so basically, I'm out with my friend the whole day. You feel me? We were just out, like, shopping. I don't know what the hell we were doing. And we were on the way back home to Brentwood. He was like, bro, I got two joints. You want to you wanna smoke them with me? Rolled already? Yeah, like pre-rolled wow. joints. And he bought them from this hippie kid. And then I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. And then, so, yeah, we get back home. It's nighttime at this point. We go to this empty goddamn field at nighttime, and we smoked both of these pre-roll joints as fast as we could in, like, under five minutes. I don't know. We didn't know how to smoke. <laughs> He's power smoking? Yeah, like, both of these joints, man, both of these joints. We, we would have been fine off one joint, bro, like, if we just smoked <laughs> one joint. But we smoked both of them, and I started tweaking in the field, bro. Like, oh, no. the stars started spinning and stuff. I started having, like, a panic attack, and I was, like, <sighs> shaking violently type shit. And I, I drove my dad's car over there. I was like, there's no way I can fucking drive this back to your crib, bro. And then my homie was like, I'll just fucking do it for you, bro. And my homie, my homie took the wheel and he was valid, bro. He was valid. I was tweaking, man. I was sitting inside the grocery store parking lot in my dad's car in the passenger seat, like tweaking, bro. Like having the worst panic attack, like. I'm so possible, sorry. That was bro. your first time smoking Damn. weed, man. Nah, Damn, that sucks. It was, it was like telling me, like, bro, you got to respect this plant. You just can't, like... You can't just do this shit like yeah. this. Yeah. Damn, two fucking joints to the face? Yeah. Yeah, that shit was crazy, bro. And you're saying you're 23, so six, seven years ago, the weed was fucking fire. It was... It had to have been fire, bro. If it made you fucking trip out, yeah. yeah. bro. That shit was crazy. That shit was crazy. Do you still chill with that friend? Yeah, he's cool. Awesome. He's cool. How long until you went back to it? Good question. Great question. Not very long after, maybe a, a, maybe a couple weeks or a month, because my homie had, like, the vape pens. We had this one homie, he had hella different flavor vape pens. Like, every time we'd hang out with him, he'd be like, yeah, I got the Indica, I got the Hybrid, I got the Sativa. He'd be like, which one do you want? I'd be like, shit, try them all. Oh, shit. So, so this is a great, great, you're in school, you're in California. Yeah. Vape pens are at the high. Yeah. They're at the high. So how much easier is it? Because I was out of school before vape pens came out. How much easier is it to get high as a person in school? Now than it was 10 years ago, you had to sm- sneak a bowl, f- cologne your hands, wash yep. your fucking oh, head. God. Oh, God. All that bullshit. Yeah. These ki- these kids are smoking in the bathroom. Every day, all day, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And, okay, so. It's crazy. I tell, like, bro, I don't want my channel to 
let these kids know, oh, you could go to school and smoke at school, bro. Like, that is so, that's so dumb, bro. Yeah, I don't it's fuck so with dumb. that. It's so dumb. Mm. Like, when I do it, I'm going to a college. Like, I'm going to a goddamn college. Yeah, these fools <laughs> are in high school. <laughs> yeah. I just think if you're in high school, you should have the fear of, like, yo, I can't let motherfuckers know I smoke weed out here like this. Yeah, I feel facts. like you should keep it under wraps a little because you're still a child. Facts. And let, you I mean, go home to a whooping, bro. Okay, so your mom and dad will beat your ass too? If I was a kid smoking in high school and I got fucking suspended for smoking in high school, yeah, they would not be happy, bro. Okay, good. So I, your parents are still on your shit, but also like, yo, this shit else my knees. Yeah. yeah All right, yeah. cool. Your dad seems fucking awesome, actually. My, okay, so when my mom found out I got my medical card at 18, she took me out to breakfast and had a talk with me. Yeah. She had a talk with me. Like a like a serious talk? Yeah, a serious talk. She's like, you think that's cool? She's like, you think you're an adult now and stuff? Yeah. She took you to breakfast. Yeah. So you wouldn't cause a scene or something? Is no. that what she could go somewhere public? Maybe you got it from her. I'm like, let's go we, public we, and we do had this. A, it was, it, we, <laughs> just, had, we were just talked about it. I just let her know. I was like, yeah. It, it, I like it. It helps me with like anxiety and stuff. I was like, I don't know. I have fun doing it. I mean, like, I'm... I'm working and stuff. I'm working towards like goals and stuff. You know, it's not like I'm lazy and just smoking. And I just explained it to her. Uh huh. Yeah. How'd she take it? Um, she she definitely iffy about it for a while. She's iffy about it for a while. But after that, I didn't even have to hide it anymore. I didn't even hide it anymore. Good man. Yeah. Damn, you have such a cool They're fucking weed cool, story, huh? man. They're yeah. cool. My parents are cool as hell. So even if she, yeah, even if you're smoking weed, you want to make sure like your oh, kid is like. Getting after it. That's really what I want for my yeah, kids yeah, yeah, is yeah. The, it to be within them to want to go get after it and not just lay yeah, around yeah. all day. I'm going to have kids one day. I'm not going to let them smoke until they're 18, but they, they might smoke it before they're 18. Mm -hmm. and I'll be like, yo, as long as you got your shit together. Yeah, that's all that matters. Yeah. Because I definitely did not have my shit together. Mm -hmm. So I can understand why my mom was kind of upset. But also, she didn't have no fucking idea. She said she did. She didn't have no idea. I would, But I was also selling weed and shit. I, mm -hmm. I was poor. Mm -hmm. It's a, I think it's a little different. My mm -hmm. mom was not... She did not take me to breakfast. So I'm hearing, <laughs> like, hearing this is These so conversations cool. conversations didn't, didn't like fuck this. with you smoking weed at all? No, she didn't really know. She suspected. But I was selling hella weed out of the house anyway. Oh, wow. But... I fucking love this story. Yeah, man. So your mom and dad seem so fucking. Are your parents like oh, cool? Yeah. Going into Pizza Hut, going into the gas stations now, and it's like, you're like, is it a thing now that you're out here doing these videos and shit? Like, I would imagine they're going into these places and shit. Oh, after <laughs> you're smoking them out? Yeah, they are. They are. <laughs> <laughs> they are. This is like a small town. Hey, like, your son. Yeah. Your son keeps smoking in the building. Oh my <laughs> god! Could you imagine? <laughs> How many I'm Walmarts can there be? I try to keep it respectful when I make my videos, at least. You got manners. I mean, yeah, I get it. It's just like, that's a good no, you, that is that's crazy. That's funny. They're though. coming that's in later. Question. Oh, that's great, Mark. VPNs are great for security and privacy by hiding your IP address and encrypting your traffic to protect you from cyber attackers. Do you want to take your digital security to the next level? NordVPN has offered a brand new feature to all the desktop apps. Threat protection to make sure you're safe while you're online. All you got to do is be running the NordVPN app and you're protected from malware, trackers, ads, intrusive things you didn't sign up for across the board. As we always say, are you like a Niner fan or a Buffalo fan and you just can't watch the game because where you live? NordVPN allows you to watch the sporting events that are in your region. This also works for other countries. Say you want to watch a certain soccer game, you can do the same thing with NordVPN. NordVPN enables Netflix users to access out of country libraries that they wouldn't normally be able to watch at no extra cost and saves money on other subscriptions from other countries. Did we mention that NordVPN is the world's fastest VPN service? No buffering, no lagging while you're streaming, trying to watch stuff, no throttling on your ISP bandwidth. With NordVPN, you're also able to purchase flights from different virtual locations to save money on your ticket. NordVPN protects you while you're traveling to other places to make sure even on unsecure Wi-Fi's that you're safe. With NordVPN, you can use one account on up to six devices for the price of one cup of coffee per month. So we have an exclusive deal with Dope As Usual Podcast and NordVPN. If you go to nordvpn.com forward slash YOLA, that is our discount code. And with that, you're going to get a huge discount plus four free months automatically. And remember, if you don't like this, it's completely money back, risk-free 30-day guarantee. Okay, so where did you, first job? First job? First job. Okay, so I was 16 years old. My homie had just gotten hired at KFC. He was like, bro, we're hiring. We're hiring, bro. So I applied at KFC, and I got hired on the spot, bro. Good shit. Yeah, I got hired on the spot. 
KFC, man, it was crazy. It was crazy. And you were smoking weed at that time when you were ready? I, at, I wasn't. I you wasn't was, oh, so you were just stacking money then? Yeah, I was stacking money. Cool. Yeah, but it was crazy, bro. I have crazy KFC experiences, like customers trying to fight me and stuff. What? Bro. Yeah, customers calling me like derogatory names and screaming at me, like throwing trays at me and shit, bro. KFC gets crazy, bro. KFC gets insane. It's half a world star. It's crazy. The employees it's crazy, bro. You're not wrong. You're fucking not wrong, it's dude. Crazy, bro. KFC's yeah. wild. It's the one I worked at. People was trying wild. to hit you with trays. You look so nice. Yeah. What the fuck would somebody? What did you do? Were you the front person register? Yes. Oh, so, so they're just mad at you. He's like, "Hey, little bro, give me a free biscuit." I was like, he came in hella rude, and I was like, maybe if he was nice, I would have gave him a free biscuit. I was like, sir, I can't give you a free biscuit. Like, I'll get in trouble, you know. He's like, and then he started calling me like names and shit. He's like, you better give me a, a biscuit. He <laughs> called me like these crazy ass slurs and shit. And then I was like, damn. And then. You just ate a biscuit in front of him. Yeah, like, nah, bro, I can't give you true, a biscuit. Bro. True. And then he's trying to hop over the table to beat my ass, but he couldn't hop over. And so he just picked up the tray closest to him and then threw it at me. You can't legally do anything either. You have to yeah. just go, all right, and walk away. I saw him like a couple months later. We called the cops on his ass. My manager called the cops on Had his ass. Had to be ass. a tweaker, right? Yeah. A few months later, I seen him at Goodwill, and he comes up to me, and he apologized. Nice. He was like, hey, bro, I'm sorry. Um, I was going through it back then. You feel me? I found God in these past wow. couple months or whatever. I forget exactly what he said, but he was like, yeah, I found God, I found God and stuff. Um, I just wanted to apologize, bro. I was like, yeah, it's all good, bro. I understand. Fuck your biscuit, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, he uh, remembered you? Damn. Yeah. Did you recognize him walking up to you? Yes. Yeah. It's fucking biscuit Holy guy? shit. Yeah. Is he an older man? Older gentleman, yes. Probably in his 40s or 50s. Wow. Yeah. He's, Dude. he's definitely on crack. Cracking <laughs> Crackington or the Methington. He's definitely on crack. <laughs> he's like, you he's probably Crackington City. Just the way you said it, man. <laughs> definitely on crack. Damn, that's an amazing story. Damn, there's so much positivity. I love it. <laughs> I, I don't so. have any positive <laughs> tweaker stories. They're all yeah, fucking yeah. violent. Really? Wow. Bad. <laughs> Yeah. They never came up to you and apologized like that? No, nah, dude. <laughs> Tweakers have done you dirty like that? Tweakers is weirdos, man. Oh, yeah. Man, it, recent interactions in Merced, I didn't even tell you about it. I forgot Shit, to tell I you. Merced and Antioch are very similar. Oh, for sure. What's your population out there? Maybe 100. Oh, yeah. See, we're like 85. So, yeah, we're around the same. Oh, you feel me then. Oh, you're the only KFC in town, too. Oh, there's two. You know what? There's like four KFCs oh in that God. vicinity. I'm not sure why there's so many KFCs. It's kind of peculiar. Kind four KFCs? I was like a small the town. One, what the, the fuck? The one I worked at closed down, though. It closed? That KFC was ratchet, bro. bro you I worked at my, a bad I see one, my man. manager fuck, having sex in the, ba- in the refrigerator. Stop in it. In the freezer, <laughs> I swear. I the swear. manager that called the cops for you? No, a different, a different manager. He was laying on a bag of ketchup and he was holding some girl up and they were going crazy. Yeah. I'd be yeah. so grossed out. I'm like, bitch, that's ketchup. Go on the boxes at least. Bro, that shit was weird. During hours? During hours, yeah. On the clock. Getting paid? Ooh, all right. That's they were just cool sitting story. in the back and uh, do vape trips all day. The managers and stuff. Sit on, sit on some, like, bucket and do vape tricks. Fuck. <laughs> and they would, like, talk shit about each other's vape tricks. Antioch's crazy Damn. as hell. Look at KFC, fucking brothels, <laughs> vape trick conventions, and people try to fight you. It's peculiar for sure, bro. Peculiar. All right, so how long did you work there, dude? I worked there for probably under a year. Oh, okay, okay. And I quit. I didn't even put a two-week in. Just left? Were you yeah. vaping hella hard in that McDonald's? Or KFC? That's when I first started vaping, bro, like nicotine. Like, oh. I started vaping nicotine, like, when I started working at KFC. Like, okay. doing, participating in the vape competition. Yeah, it became oh, normalized in, in the, the back. back room. And then, like, do the do the cut. Trick. Yeah, yeah, I remember those. Yeah. I had uh, somebody on the channel, remember a couple years ago, He's he does the world competitions of smoke tricks, and I had him on the oh, show, yeah, like, hey, come that. do some stuff on camera. Yeah, no. It was cool. I was uh-huh. like, holy shit. <laughs> also... It's all nicotine, so yeah. Like, ah, do it with a blunt. Mm-hmm. Do the blunt. A lot of the people that do tricks don't even have nicotine in their vape, though. It's just juice. Yeah. Well, I guess you get lightheaded, huh? I don't know. 
I wouldn't want to vape anything if there was nothing in it. No, it sounds like you're fucking drinking non-alcoholic beer. Nowadays, I, I wouldn't even want to vape anything if it's not like weed. Yeah. You still, still smoke nicotine vapes? No, I haven't touched one since 2019. I used to be on those heavy. Good. Though. It was hard to quit. Good. What'd you do to quit? Mom! What'd you do to quit? Um, I mean, I was trying to quit for like a, a solid year, but I think after this one shroom trip, I was like, yeah, like... I was smoking the nicotine on the shroom trip, and I was like, yo, this shit's not good for me. I was tripping out, and I was like, this shit's not good for me. And every time I hit it after that, I was like, yo, I don't fuck with this shit. Oh, man, your brain open. Yeah, that was weird, bro. That oh, good. That's good, though, man. A cleansing of your fucking toxins and mm-hmm. your brain You and mess shit. with the shrooms, too, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I like shrooms, like, once or twice a year. It's a good restart. Yeah. It's like they're therapeutic in a way. A hundred percent. I like doing them in nature, by myself, in my room. By myself in the or in the room in the dark. Yeah, that's, that's dope. Just trippy, I've never bro. done them in the woods or anything though. Trippy. You should. Nature's really fun to do. That would be fun. I just don't trust myself if I'm gone yeah. in nature. You can't really in relax California. if you're like, like what if it's like a mountain lion? Yeah. I got to be on my shit. This is California. Oh, mountain lion. There's mountain lions out here. here. <laughs> mountain lions are cougars. Or not cougars. Uh, coyotes bobcats and shit. And bobcats. Yeah. Yeah, mountain lions, shit. Mate, mountain lions, rattlesnakes. Yeah, bobcats with the hero Brian. Oh, no, we got mountain lions. What it? You know, hero Brian. It's uh, from Minecraft. What's yeah. that? It's this um super rare, like, threat in nature in Minecraft. Hero Brian. Oh my god! I thought you meant like. <laughs> okay, got you. Damn, my brother. My brother, my little brother's gonna flip his shit. My little brother's about to be nineteen, oh, and he goes hard on the Minecraft still. Yo, I'm my bad, bro. What's up? I'm fucking up. I, I'm getting ash on this. You're fine. You're fine. Okay, for sure. You're good. You're good. I promise. Um, damn, dude, what are we talking about? Minecraft, the biggest threat. Tripping. So, oh, tripping. All right. Tripping. When you start fucking with shrooms. Oh shit, bro. I think the first time I tried it was 2019. Was 2019? I just did it by myself in my room, like at midnight, bro. Like, First time? Yeah, it was fun. Wow. It was probably like, dude, like I had never been that like awoken before. I was looking at my hands and shit. Like, I was like, dude, this is what it feels like to be a human. This is beautiful. I'm so grateful for everything. I was, and I was going outside and looking at the sunset. I was like, dude, like I'm so fucking grateful for this shit. Why do I be like tripping about the littlest like? inconveniences and shit yeah and like yeah i was just feeling mad grateful my first time doing shrooms and like i was tripping all the way till sunrise my there's like random cats outside too bro it was beautiful bro. <laughs> that shit was so beautiful man that shit was beautiful i love it yeah i love it. that's your first trip yeah oh uh, man two I, I, solid grams two solid grams for your first mm-hmm. trip that's mm-hmm. that you, you went in yeah and yeah it was pretty crazy i was watching youtube videos and shit too i was like this motherfucker, this this shit is fucking crazy. Looking at my laptop, I was like, damn, this is like some alien fucking invention, Technology. Bro. How the fuck did they make this? I was tripping out. Mushrooms bro. will break you down to the core <laughs> elements. Like, why is this here? My name is that? Why does it sound like that? Yeah. This is my face? So I go through life with this face and people see this face. Okay, yeah, what do bro. I do? Looking in the mirror is trippy Weird. Too. And then you think about your siblings and family go, they have their own lives and shit. Exactly, bro. Weird. Yeah. I just see them and yeah. we interact and then they do their thing. Exactly, it, bro. It makes you like, do people just spawn out of nowhere? And you start thinking of <laughs> crazy fucking mm-hmm. things. And yeah, then you bro. find out that these are real conspiracies already. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> but mushrooms are fun. Have you, you had a conspiracy go? Conspiracy theories? Oh, yeah. Huh? You mess with conspiracy theories? Uh, I mean, I see the shit. But I just don't, I don't really go into them. Yeah. I don't know. Everything is, I think. Yeah. Depending on how you look at it. That's the truth thing. Yeah. Do you truth want a, uh, another joint? Um, I got this one. All right. Have you had a trip go sideways or not so well? Uh, mushroom trip. Any okay, kind. So I've had like um. Definitely challenging trips, like trips that force me to sit down and like, ba- like take accountability for shit. You know, be like, damn. Okay, maybe I. I do got to switch some things up in my life. You feel me? Like challenging trips, like not necessarily like terrible, bad trips, but like trips mm-hmm. that were hard to go through for sure. Mm-hmm. But they taught me. Mm-hmm. They taught me something. It seems like you're trying to be on a path to like keep leveling up and bettering yourself and stuff. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't like tripping too much. Mm-hmm. Like once, once or twice a year, like with yeah. two grams, two grams. I feel you. The last one I had made me go. Ah, I got shit to do. I can't be doing this shit like this. So yeah. I, I did it on the podcast. I went home. I was like, dude, it's six hours out of my day. It like, takes a lot of energy out of you. Yeah, that too. For a few days, you kind of feel like tired. Off. Yeah. I just feel like I'm not fully awake yet. Yep, yep. Yeah, so I, I, I feel you on that. They're beautiful, though. They're beautiful in moderation. Mm-hmm. If you have nothing to do, I think they're fucking the best thing ever. For real? Spend a Damn. whole... I mean, if you have nothing to do and no worries, mm-hmm. trip for a day? Whoa. I'm waiting for that day. I got One some day. higher mushrooms at home. <laughs> One day. Yeah? Some freeze-dried mushrooms. Mm. Freeze-dried? Uh, they're like blue and shit. They're grown by some like boutique mushroom brand. I don't know what the I don't know what brand it is, but they're fire. No shit, you already tried them? No, I haven't. But just looking at them, I'm oh, like, this is gonna go crazy. Like the blue crystals in the veins. Yeah, bro, it looks shit. stupid crazy. Mm-hmm. It looks stupid crazy. Do you have any aspirations to try out like DMT or any sort of like anything above and beyond mushrooms? I don't think so. I'm very satisfied with um, the herb and the goddamn. That's where I'm at. The, the Sippington Cities, you know. <laughs> the Sippington uh, Cities. <laughs> yeah. Sippington City. Wait, Love Sippington God. City, shall we? Love it. Is that what you call drinking stuff? Yeah. Love it. <laughs> yeah, Sippington City. But yeah, I'm, I'm very yeah, happy with what I do. Great. I don't. I don't have. Um, I don't want to do any more drugs. Mm-hmm. I don't want to do any more drugs. I never tried acid. Me neither. Really? Me neither. Yeah. It's man made. Mm-hmm. Um, I just got scared when I was like eleven. My aunt, I, we talked about it. My aunt's friend, yeah, my aunt and her friend used to do it a lot in high school. For real. And her friend went schizophrenic, but she, her mom was also schizophrenic. So she was like predisposed to it. Yeah. But also, like, yo, I'm not yeah. risking that shit. Could you imagine me get a bad acid trip, Marty? The show's over. Oof. Uh, no thanks. What a fucking shame that would be. Uh, no thank you. <laughs> we got shit to do. Yeah, I got shit exactly. to do. I want my brain here. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. why I'm scared to do it too. The I'm same nervous. exact reason. Yeah, I'm nervous. Like, what if it tra- changes me? Yeah. Like, for what? Oh, I thought that was a cheer. <laughs> you, you you're allowed to cough. What was that noise? Yeah. It was my friend, an elephant, trying to... Dying oh. back there. No, the, um, it sounded like a camera noise. A camera noise? I heard, thought I heard a camera oh, noise. Oh, this one. <coughs> oh, yeah. Hey, oh, good day. Good <laughs> Yeah, turned off. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay. So Marty said, Marty already looked it up because I have no idea. I don't watch Star Wars. Fulcrum's from Star Wars. That's how you got the name? Yes, sir. It's from a Star Wars cartoon. Star I never Wars watched cartoon. it, man. Star Wars Rebels. It was this cartoon that came out in 2014. It took. It takes place after episode three. Are you into Star Wars? Nope. Oh, Our yeah. little brother's fucking heavy. Yeah. And he does. He helps us with the comments and shit. Yeah. So I know he's in the chat like, it's this. It's from this one. He's that. <laughs> yep, he's that yep. guy. So Star Wars. Um, Nah, dude. I, wa- I mean, I've seen them all. I've seen all the old ones. I've seen the new ones. I couldn't tell you. I can't tell them apart. You never watched them on shrooms? Mm-mm. I feel like that would be fire. Watching Star Wars on shrooms. <sighs> that would be fun. I think doing anything in light moderation of shrooms can make it intense. For real? You know what I mean? Like a gram and a half of shrooms and doing something, I think that would make almost anything yeah, most a little definitely. more like... <sighs> most definitely. Does a my, gram and a half is enough for me to trip out, bro. Yeah, you'll start seeing little things. <coughs> I think you start seeing patterns <coughs> and start feeling the... I, I get it yeah. like in my chest. I feel like... Like I can feel each breath. That's when I know I'm starting to fucking trip a little bit. Bro, Ugh. I start feeling it when I start feeling like my body is like... There's no bones in it. I don't know how to describe it, but I just feel like I'd be moving in ways I never moved before, bro. <laughs> moving in ways I never moved before, I'd be like, damn, I'm peculiar and I'm okay with it. I'm peculiar and I'm okay with this at the end of the day, necessarily. Just as a human. Yeah. 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 yeah we're fucking on the floor weird. We're being weird and shit. Yeah. yeah why not? I, I don't know. I think, <laughs> I, I think all the kids that were weird in school yeah. and high school were just normal people. And the people that were like, you're weird, turned out to be the prude kids. And now they're kind of, I guess, those are the Car- the recipes for Karens. Hmm. That's how I feel. Like, Where did those I people track did. them back to kids? Where did you grow from? Mm-hmm. You were the kid that was a fucking asshole in school. Or mm-hmm. you were the kid that called me a weirdo for liking certain music. Or mm-hmm. What I, kind of kid were you? I was a fucking weird kid. Were you popular? <laughs> no. Damn. Nah, hell no. Well... well Everyone knows me. Yeah. And I smoke weed. And I know all the fools. I described this the other day to you or to Rosie. Do you have a senior circle? 
like the quad where all the cool kids hung out only. Yeah, like there's a b- bench. Most definitely. You know what I'm saying? Like I know all those fools that sell them weed. All right, I'll see you guys later. Later. And I go chill with my friends, the fucking drug addicts. So I know everyone. Yeah. But I don't care mm-hmm. to chill yeah. with everyone. It's that. different when you're making money off everybody. Because you don't give a fuck. I didn't, well, it wasn't necessarily that. It was more of like, I was real, real, real dumb as a kid. And like, I thought, remember my music shit. It's on the radio, all this commercial shit. These fools like, oh, you you probably do some stupid shit. Get away from me. I'm going to listen to my underground shit, my Bay Area shit. Like, if you fuck with that, we'll probably be friends. Yeah. But if you're pop star, and pop, I was very anti-commercial. But like I was, mainstream. yeah, I was very anti-mainstream as a kid. And I think it was really stupid of me because... Who cares if what you like? You might be a f- you might be awesome to chill with. We are very I, similar, uh, bro. Yeah, we're very similar. I hated that about myself as a kid, dude. I really didn't like that. Now that I look back, I'm like, what a dumbass! Like yeah. judging people. I, yeah, I judge people like, oh, f- oh that's your yeah, favorite I didn't song. With Drake in high school cause at I all because yeah. I was like, this is some bullshit, yeah. commercial bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I go, well, can I just don't listen to the commercial songs. Let's listen to something else of him. And I went. Oh, this is cool. Mm-hmm. And now, what was it yesterday? The whole drive back from I, I had his albums. I'm like, nah, this fool's tight. Yeah, Drake's this fool's tight. Mm-hmm. He's hard. But, but as a kid, I was like, nah, nah, that's too commercial for me. Mm-hmm. Fuck that. He's on the radio. No thanks. His first mixtape. That go back to that one. But you see what I mean? Yeah. I didn't even give that a chance. Mm-hmm. So that was me in high school. Like, oh, you guys listen to that? No, I'm cool. Go to the party. I'll see you guys later. Yeah. And I'm gonna go do fucking coke with my friends. So that's the kid I was in school. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> to answer your question, yeah, <laughs> but no, I don't like being You're around a good people. Good girl, and you know it. Oh shit! You yeah. act different around me. What was that? It's a Drake song. Oh, yeah. see, I have no I was idea. Just, I, was feeling it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I just had to let that one out. Yeah. That's fine. Up. That's fine. Look, okay. you didn't have the headphones on. I was about yeah, I'm about to yeah. fucking <laughs> drop some fucking beats on it. Um, it, yeah. As soon as Drake's not rapping, I, I pretty much change the song. I don't mm-hmm. like. I don't like love songs. You don't like love songs? I don't really like R and B, bro. I like love songs. I just don't like R and B that much. And Rosie loves it, mm-hmm. so I I like it. But then again, it goes back to me as a kid, like oh Shanti, on the radio. That's what I thought as a kid, mm-hmm. and now I hear and go, oh, that's why everybody loves Shanti. Shanti's dope. Mm-hmm. But as a kid, I was mad ignorant. Yeah. So it goes back to that, dude. I, I I left myself out of a lot of circles as a kid. I think because yeah. I'm like, no, I'm good. I'm gonna do cocaine. You guys don't do smoke. You don't smoke weed. Nah, I'm gonna go over here. That's how I felt. I was a weird kid in high school. Would you like what kind? Like, I, no one knew me. I was the quiet kid in class. Like, oh, I was I, always kind of like sh- awkward and kind of introverted. I didn't have too many friends. Same. I feel you. Seems like you're the opposite of that now. Walking up on the I feel like I grew into myself for sure. Did you have to talk yourself up into that? Like, no, I just had to um, realize, yo, I just. Look, I got to go after my purpose and mission, for real, for real. <laughs> mm-hmm. Got to go after my purpose and mission. My bad, I'm faded. I'm faded. You're good, man. I'm about to take a trip to Dabbington sound. City. Let's go go for it. Are you smoking hash rosin? Yeah. Right? First that time ever on the podcast, right? No, no. I think we put the we? e-rig on here before once. Could but be. you know what? I think I'm wrong. I think that is the first time anybody's taking yeah. a dab on the show. Mm-hmm. Well, there he is. The first yeah. one. That show Let's was go. exquisite, too. No, bro. I, I, hold on. Before we can continue, uh-huh. I just gotta say your vocabulary is making my day. <laughs> That's that bass shit. He's on Thank some you, bro. I love it, bro. It sounds like E40 in like 1992. Oh, this is spectacular. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's how I love. I love that vernacular. <laughs> <laughs> vernacular. That's a good one too. Yes, it is. Yes, but it I is. I fuck with E40. Hell yeah! I just love. Uh, I had to point it out, bro. It's making me laugh. I, I used to always it. um play E40 songs at like school dances and shit. Oh, you're from the Bay. That is basically like playing Vitamin C. At, <laughs> at, that, remember that the graduation day song? It's E40 in the Bay. Like you play E40. <laughs> God damn. For real? No, the Bay's a different place. Mm-hmm. Definitely a whole beautiful. different culture. <laughs> different culture by itself. Um, people keep telling me to move out here to LA, and I'm like, I don't want to leave the Bay. I feel you. I'd leave the Bay. You think I should? Yeah, because you know why? You can go back. Yeah, you're right. But shit, bro. I know, but that smile on your face kind of tells me, like, I know you're right, but I also don't want to leave the bay. I love it. I love how slow paced it is. Yeah. I hear it's crazy. And you're not in fucking SF, so it's not like. <laughs> yeah. He's, it depends on what your goals are. I mean, what's best case scenario for the next, <laughs> the next 
a couple of years goes exactly how you want it? Like, what would that look like? I just want to keep um, building my Yodi Land brand, you know? Just keep, um, shit, move out. I'm about to get my own place this month. Nice. Yeah. Good shit, about dude. About this month. Same, same city? Same. I think I'm going to move to Oakland or Berkeley. Oakland or Berkeley. Berkeley's really nice. I fuck with Berkeley. Yeah, I like Berkeley, too. It's peaceful. Mm. Yeah, it's so quiet. Everything feels like uh, like winter break. I'm, People I'm, are just chilling. The leaves are falling and yeah, shit. Dude, I love know. Berkeley. <laughs> oh, it just feels like no school. I don't got to work today. That's mm-hmm. Berkeley. Mm-hmm. I saw in one of your videos you work at a dispensary. Yeah, I've actually worked at two dispensaries. Two dispensaries. Do you actively work at a dispensary? I don't work at one right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, but, when did you first start? Okay, so I, I got hired at one at the end of, I want to say, let me think. When was that? It was either 20, the end of 2020 or 2021. Yeah, it was, I got hired at a dispensary at the end of 2020. And that was my first foot in the door. I started off as the sign flipper. No the shit. Sign the street, yeah. FTP. Yeah, yeah, that shit was crazy, bro. I was just dancing my heart out, singing, like, singing my favorite songs, listening to my favorite songs, bro. That shit was so fucking fun, bro. Because I was used to, like, being stressed out at work. You feel me? Doing, like, a bunch of crazy ass different shit at work. But then I was just singing and dancing on the side of the street. And that shit was so fucking, bro. I was so happy doing that shit, bro. For I love $16 that. an hour, bro. What the fuck? Yeah. Damn, that's high. I know. People get paid more than you think. Holy shit. You think that's, yeah, that's pretty that's, high. I mean, I that's, haven't that's worked normal. a minimum that's, wage job in a long time. But that's pretty low now. That's pretty What's low minimum now. wage now? I don't know. A lot of people are getting oh, paid man. like 17. 17 out. That's when I was it. crushing it at my job as an adult, like 17. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three. Shit. 17 pretty fucking crazy. Mm-hmm. 17's a lot. Mm. Fuck, that's, that's a normal, lot. That's kind of like normal where I'm from. Well, the Bay is so expensive, dude. Yeah. You could probably find a place down here for the yeah. same price, man. Mm-hmm. And this is fucking LA. My fingers are black. Look at that shit. You're from the breaking from, up that weed. From rolling up the Zyington. Is that what it is? The Zyington. Oh, okay. I thought you, that was the strain. No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Would you call it Crystal Class or Crystal City? Uh, Crystal Farms. Crystal Farms. Sorry. I think it's, <laughs> Crystal oh, Class. It's Crystal, fucking white burn. truffle. White truffle. <laughs> so pr- it looks fucking ridiculous. It looks like Barney. Shit. Uh, Shit. Okay, so you worked at two dispensaries, mm-hmm. and then oh, so you fu- sign flipper. Then you start being a bud tender. What, what's next? Yeah, basically, I was sign flipping one day. These jackass kids, they're they were just being mean to me and pointing a gun at me type shit and like harassing me. And then basically, like I went back to the dispensary. I told them I was like, yeah, um, I'm this not, sucks. Yeah, and so they they promoted me though, and I started working through the drive through. Start drive through weed spot. Yeah. Oh, God. What the Full fuck? Full time. I worked six days a week there, bro. It was nice, though. drive through weed shit. Yeah, it was chill. It was chill, bro. And the tips were crazy, bro. The tips were crazy. Sometimes I walk out that bitch with, like, fuck, 150 bucks? Like, Damn, on tips a day? Yeah. Ooh, crushing it. I've never... So you're talking about, like, McDonald's. You pull on the side of the building. Yes. Put your order yeah, in. Yeah, but basically, you place your order on the website online. Uh-huh. And then you pull up, you show your ID, they scan your ID, and then you get the you get your order and then you drive away. You don't have to sell them shit. They already know what they want. Yeah. Well, that's fucking amazing. That's We're still in Orange County on that show. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I they only out. they only started that for COVID, though. So they don't do that anymore. Oh, uh, they don't do it I anymore. can see yeah. why. Okay, okay. The state sense. only... Allowed that for COVID. Oh, wouldn't that be badass right now? That Fuck. would be badass, bro. That is genius. Holy that shit. Genius, I don't got to do nothing. You don't have to leave Order your car, Order on the bro. way? Thanks. You don't have to oh, leave your car, bro. Badass. So I'm sorry. Hold yeah. on. You're just flipping a sign. These fools come put a gun at you. That's crazy. Yeah. I made a story time on my channel about it. That's fucked up. It was kind of... Yeah, I was... I was scared, bro, because I sign flipped a couple more times after that, and every time I was out there, I was just scared, bro. I'll be real. These fools are just walking by. I was like, "Hey, they're in the fuck car. Your son. Are they're you in the car." Me? And then so they would pull up one time. They would be like, "Hey, um, like, why'd you hit hit my car with your sign?" Like they're messing with me because I didn't hit their car with my sign. And they're like, "Yeah, I'm gonna beat your ass." You feel me? I was like, "Give me all your money, type shit." You feel me? And then yeah, they drove away. 
And I was like, oh, they're just, they're fucking with me. Like, they're just messing with me. So I get back to flipping my sign, listening to my goddamn young lean, listening to my goddamn baby smooth type shit, you feel me? And then motherfucking like 30 minutes later, they pull back around, bro. And this time they're like flashing a gun at me type shit. They're like, they're like, yeah, you think we're playing around, huh? You think we're playing around, huh? I don't know why you're still here, bro. I don't know why you still, they, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe they were selling weed and they didn't want me promoting the dispensary. Uh, that could be a, a completely reasonable yeah. thing in their brain. Yeah. Because that shit's real out here, too. That's crazy. Really? Yeah, they flashed a gun at me. They're like, yeah, we told you we're not playing around, bro. You got to give us all your money. And I was like, I'm just 16. I'm, like, I'm only 16 years old, guys. You feel me? I don't have any money. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to. Uh, it's my job. What yeah. the fuck? I was I was like fucking tw- I was twenty one. Like bro, I'm a kid. Yeah, yeah, I get you. There's right. no cash register here, bitch. I'm flipping a sign. What yeah, the fuck? For real, I didn't have any <laughs> money, bro. And then yeah, they drove away. And then thirty minutes later, they pulled back up again. They pulled back up again. And then after that, I was like, fuck that shit. That's when you just shot him. <laughs> oh shit, Marty. <laughs> Yeah, bro. I hate you so much. That shit was crazy, bro. That shit was fucking crazy. Well, that fucking sucks. That bugs me, bro. Ah. But at least it got you on the inside of the dispo and fucking, I guess. I guess. But now your YouTube's cracking to the point. So correct me if I'm wrong here. Looking at your Twitter, October 24th, 200K subs by tonight. Now, here we are today in early December. You're up over fucking 700K on YouTube, right? Yeah. Yeah, I had I had five hundred subs back in um, like a month, November twelfth. Fucking five hundred subs back in um, April or May. I had five hundred mm. subscribers on YouTube. April or May? Yeah, May this year. May oh, this okay, year, I had okay. five hundred subs on YouTube. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, because I because I thought it you pulled yeah, up the wrong day. I must have pulled the wrong day. I'm not, I pulled because I pulled some sweets from your fucking Twitter. And it said October 24th, 200K subs by tonight. November 12th, 500K subs. Are we high? No? Wait, what happened? (laughs) (laughs) Okay, I'm going to tell you one thing, bro. I'm definitely (laughs) fucking high right now. No, you're good. You're good. No, what we were saying was he pulled up in your Twitter and it said November 12th. Thank you for 500K. Oh, yeah. November 12th, I did hit 500K. Oh, so not May. May. May was 500 Oh, oh, 500. Jesus yeah, Christ. 500. <laughs> so we're all high. Okay. No, no, no. I mean, <laughs> it's just confusing because these are such astronomical numbers. That's yeah. what like I'm getting yeah. to. Like. Yeah. It's crazy, bro. It's mind-blowing. Bro, it's, it's crazy. Because I was telling him, uh, when I first started really, really doing YouTube, like 2019, yeah. I gained like 120 in a month. Just my videos everywhere. In a month? In a month. Wow. And then I was like, wow, I've never seen that before. Holy mm-hmm. shit. YouTube's fun. I've, I'm, I like YouTube. Yeah. This is sick. Yeah. And then you show me the number. And go, holy fuck! That's awesome. Shh, Are you monetized? Um, you know what? I choose not to monetize a lot of my smoking videos. Oh, but like the, the I, channel I, is yeah. monetized. Yeah. Oh my god, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. Some of my videos are monetized. Let's go. God damn. You do a lot of va- you're not showing packs or nothing like that or I try not to I try not to I, see that's what fuck I smoke me. a lot of flour though but not too much on camera nowadays yeah because you try to keep it somewhat yeah, I go like, to Dabbington City this is my favorite thing and they don't fuck with you huh yeah or the pipe the pipe is pretty good too oh shit because you said one of the first videos I watched was Cool Lotto one of my videos yeah my first one that ever hit a million mm-hmm. and. I there was like a 20 pack in the video Hell and I left it in there. I was like, it, it's okay. It was in the corner, <laughs> right? I was like, it's yeah, in the corner. We're showing this weed. And I think that's where they're like, yo, you can't be monetized. What are you doing here? Yeah. So it's smart for keep. Thank you for keeping it. Yeah. You're able to make money in some they possible They take that way. from you. It's hell to get that bitch back. Yeah. yeah. That's we why just I've got been- it back. Yeah, that's why I've been choosing not to monetize most of my videos. Yeah, because only videos if I know off. I'm not gonna smoke. Yeah, like let's say I gotta do an update video or something, you know. Then I'll fucking but you're staying on YouTube's good side that way. Yeah, you know what I mean. You're not yeah. fucking out there trying to monetize off of. I smoked a zip. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, because they they just frown upon it and then they start hating you and then you get fucked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, did they? Do you not have a TikTok page? I do have a TikTok page. Because I couldn't find it. I thought maybe they like kicked you off or something. It's Gray Saber Fulcrum. 
Gray Saber. Oh, Gray okay. Saber. I just didn't know yeah. that shit was yours. Some Star Wars shit. Because there's oh, so many okay. people that have names that could be you on there and that are posting your videos yeah. and shit. Like, that's that's how I blew up my page, man. So oh, when, through TikTok. So when I had 1,000 subscribers, I was inspired by it. Andrew Tate. I was inspired by Sneeko, how they had their following repost their clips. Like, and that's how they would grow. Their Sne- sorry, clothing. I'm sorry. Sneeko's a Mexican dude? Um, or like he's like tan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I know yeah, you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't know Jumper before, yes, right? Yeah. Yes, okay. And fucking, I was inspired by that. So at 1,000 subscribers, I told my following, yo, whoever has the most viral TikTok clip of my video in two weeks and you use these hashtags on the video hashtag yodi gang hashtag fulcrum come in hashtag just all these different like hashtags i made up whoever has the most viral video with these hashtags in two weeks i'll give you 100 bucks oh that 1000 brought me to 5k and i did it in i did it at 5k subscribers i did that same method again posted it on my instagram just a screenshot of my notes and shit and i was like whoever has the most viral video in two weeks will get Free Yodi Land Apparel merchandise, and they'll get a hundred bucks again. Hundred bucks, yeah, it was a hundred bucks. So that just spread your shit yeah, out. It went from five k to a hundred k after that one. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, and I haven't done one since then. You utilize that shit right. Yeah. Because people make clips of ours, like yo, why are they more viral than our own yeah, page? Yeah, bro. They make they get more views than how do, bro. they get more views. But like times more. five and shit, huh? Yeah. Dude, there's one that has like 6 million views on TikTok, and our same clip has like 87,000 views. What is it? It's the fucking the DDG's voice thing that was on Dude, XXL what the hell? He's, he was trolling. Has, he to to be, trolling. has to be. Has to be. Oh, can you go a little closer? My bad, my bad. Are you good? You good? He had, he had to have been been. trolling. He had to have been. That voice? That was funny. I man. asked him. I'm looking in his eyes. I asked him after. He goes, nah, man. But the way he said it went, no, nah, man, that was you telling me. Yeah. <laughs> like, it has to be, bro. It has to be. I don't know. He didn't like fully say, what so I don't know. That's trippy. He was but, sitting right here. Yeah, yeah. Wow. This, this, this the, whoa, the same studio. Whoa. Yeah, but dude, that's trippy. Um, I feel you. People's other clips will go more viral than your own. It's the weirdest shit. Yeah, for sure. Even if it's the same clip. Same exact clip, bro. Same exact <laughs> caption. I don't get it. It's just the algorithm. I don't know. It's the algorithm. So that's how you're pumping, you're funneling. Your algorithm to push to your YouTube. Yep. And now I've been pushing from my YouTube to my music. Good. Yep. You're doing something that people can like grab onto. Because music's forever, I think. People can watch a video a few times, but you can listen to a fucking song 150 times. Yeah. Straight. This next music video I'm dropping, bro, is going to fucking go crazy. Was it? What is it called? Uh, All at Once. All Everyone's at- been asking me, Fulcrum, you got to drop your outro song. Fulcrum, you got to drop your outro song. All the beats in my videos and all the music I play at the end. Um, you make. Yeah, I make them. Yep. Let's go. So fucking everyone's like, you gotta drop your outro song for fucking months, bro. Like, probably tens of thousands of comments t- telling me to do that shit. And yeah, I'm gonna drop it with a video with some of the best videographers and editors in the game, bro. Who did the last one? What's it, what's it called? Uh, we wrote it down. What's Very it called? Very Rare Cinema. My Way Out. No, My Way Out. Yeah. The I saw the clip that you posted on Twitter. Yeah. Yo, the animation was so sick. Yeah, they went crazy. They went crazy. This is the same team? Same team. So Whoa. my friends filmed that video for me with my GoPro. Really? Yeah. And this time, this video, I was working with some real videographers. And yeah. Mm-hmm. That's just going to go stupid. Imagine that editing with like crazy videographers. And yeah, because if that was just a GoPro, then yeah. wow. Yeah. Good shit. Hell yeah. It's going to go stupid, bro. So you're funneling this in a, in a, in a, in a way that should be... Because look... When I did, when I started doing my shit, it was Snapchat. I started funneling my. I have, one, I have the second biggest fucking Snapchat in the damn Snapchat. Snapchat, mm-hmm. nice. And I was funneling back to my check out my YouTube video, and I could see in the analytics like eighty six percent views came through Snap. Like holy shit! So you could see that on the back end too, right? Oh uh, yeah. Your analytics. Oh okay. damn! So you you cracked the code essentially. Yeah. Good Active. shit, man. Active. Good Active. shit. But it's just the beginning. Like even though I've got all this like. Success, like in a few months, type shit. It's just the beginning. I have so much more shit to do. This life shit is a marathon, bro. Like it's definitely a fucking marathon. You gotta keep going, bro. I gotta keep going with this shit, and I'm happy to do this, bro. I'm so grateful. This is my full time job now, bro. When did you, when's the last time you had an actual job? 
Two months ago, I quit my job at the second dispensary I got hired at. Two months ago? Yeah, I quit. And then just started doing full-time everything, all the content? Yeah, I quit at 5,000 subscribers. Because you knew ago. you were, this is what you are going to do? Yeah. yeah. My mom, I didn't even tell my mom. A week later, my mom comes to my room. What the fuck are you thinking? You quit your job type shit? How'd she find out? Can you move the mic a little closer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, how'd she find out? Um, <laughs> One of my coworkers is friends with her, I guess. Yeah. One of your coworkers snitched you out to your mom? Yeah. God damn. Damn. No well, I don't think she snitched me out. I don't think she snitched me out. She just said like, she oh, like, you know, too yeah, bad not working here Ian? anymore. What happened to Ian? Gotcha. Yeah. Never mind. Sorry. I didn't mean to call <laughs> you a fucking instigator. But then I told my mom, I was like, mom, this shit's going to work. I told, I told her this shit's going to work. Where she at with it now? Like, what, how does she feel about it? Uh, she's proud of me. She's proud of me. Oh, yeah. So they're both supportive. They're like, go after it. Yeah. I've made videos with my dad before. Mm. And my mom's been in some of my videos, too. No shit. Yeah. Are your mom and dad both Filipino, you said? So my dad's Filipino. My mom's um, my mom's like German and Irish and stuff. Yeah. Got you. Because I saw European that. European and stuff. Because Rosie, she's your dad. Are they... Are they hella Filipino? Because Rosie's side of a family is hella Filipino. For real? Okay, so m- my grandpa and my grandma are. They're Do crazy ass cookouts and shit? Yeah, back in the day, yeah. Back in the day. The first one I ever went to was with Rosie's. The first time I ever ate that shit was so... It was before I started to eat mean shit, but wow. Filipino food is the shit. I don't know anything When'd about you go... Um, you're vegan, right? Yeah. When'd you go vegan? Oh, uh, like five years-ish. Ish, around there. Really? Yeah. I was uh, vegan for a year in 2020. How'd you feel? I liked it. It was cool. It what was made cool. you go back? I don't know. I just missed it. I missed the meat and shit. Most and I feel, I feel like I wasn't eat. It's very hard. I felt you like gotta I had to eat, eat a like lot. a monster yeah. to be healthy. Yeah, and that's what I'm trying to do right now with all the fucking I, bullshit. I couldn't. Mm-hmm. I couldn't um, do a lot give myself to eat that much food. And yeah, it's, you have to eat a lot of fucking yeah. food, dude. <clears throat> it's crazy. But then again, everybody should be eating a lot of raw ass foods or a lot true. of whole foods. Very true. Because that shit makes you so good. full too, though. Yeah. You can eat this much of a salad with all natural shit. You'd be like, dude, I can't finish this shit. Yeah, what the facts. fuck? Facts. Yeah, but I'll eat six fucking hamburgers real quick. weird. Yeah. <laughs> fucking annihilate it's that a fucking shit. Fucking brain. <laughs> yeah. So, real quick, back to your music. Your music. Yeah. So, you're, you're funneling this out. You're tunneling the, all the momentum into and trickling it down to your. To, to things that you're first passionate about. So your YouTube is actually going to push your music videos because everybody's a fan. They're like, I'm a fan. I'm going to watch a music video. Yeah. No matter what, I'm going to go listen. Yeah. So no matter what you have, the momentum and the hype behind yourself, are you going to keep going harder on the music content? What is this next step right here? Like in three months, what's your goal? Be like, I want to have fucking five music videos. Or like, no, I want to be putting out. M- I'm going to be hella. dropping my next music video on my ch- on my main channel. Yeah, so you do monetize it. it too. There you go. Fucking, but yeah, it's gonna go crazy. It's gonna go crazy. It's gonna push my music further. I plan on doing shows in 2023. Oh shit! Yeah, I'm gonna do some shows in 2023. But yo, you know what, man? I'm gonna tell you one thing. I started the content for fun, bro, and I like um getting my message out there, man. My the reason I do this shit is to let these kids know, bro. I've already said this shit, but you guys can do whatever you want, bro. Like. I want, I want my videos to let people know they can truly do whatever they want to do. And people hit me up all the time. Fulcrum, your videos motivate me to go to the gym. I don't even go to the goddamn gym. It's but just our motivation. Yeah. There. So it's like, Fulcrum, your videos um, inspired me to apply and get a better job. I felt stuck in this job. And mm. it's like, like that's, I just want to let them know, like, Yodi family, we're the only things that, like, we're the only people that hold us back from doing the shit that we got to do. You feel me? And I let them know, too, we got to keep it pushing. You feel me? You woke up today because your ass has a goddamn motherfucking purpose and mission. You feel me? Like, real shit. You feel me? I love the positivity. Mm-hmm. I, that's what I was really, like, pleased about when I started, like, going through all your stuff is to find that message. It's like, I'm going to get your attention with all this crazy off-the-wall shit, but then yeah. once I have it, I'm going to fire you up and leave you better than before yeah. you were when you started watching the shit. Yeah. That's why I really fucked with um your videos, too, at first, because you would always say, like doesn't matter who you are exactly you you could do whatever that's the the whole podcast mission Mm -hmm. yeah yes dude exactly yeah 
that's why I resonated with this shit, bro. Like, because Fuck your shit yeah. was, has always been genuine, bro. Appreciate it's always that, been man. genuine and organic, bro. That's the whole point. It's like, crazy that I'm here right now. It's just been mad <laughs> organic, bro. When you guys hit me up, my fucking brain exploded. <laughs> what the fuck? Fuck yeah. <laughs> like, bro. Like, And this is my first podcast and interview like I've ever done, bro. I Thank you have, for coming here I first, wouldn't bro. have wanted to done, done it with anyone else, bro. Real shit. Appreciate that, dude. Really yeah, shit. I saw you with Eric. I'm like, oh, okay. Eric knows him. Okay, cool. And then I talked. I asked God when you were here last week. I'm like, hey, have you ever met this Vulcan? But he's like, no, I've, I've talked to him. He seems really cool. Yeah. And Marty, hit, when he hit me up on the, he hits us up on DM, and he's like, seems really nice. I go, hell yeah, because I've met other, you know, I've met content creators off the internet before. Yeah. And that's all I'm going to say. Like, I, I hang out with who I hang out with because they're genuine, nice people. I don't like to meet that many people that do content mainly and chill with because I feel like there's ulterior motives. And motherfuckers We're motivators. lucky to have such a community you know what of I mean? such like, cool people. Yeah, yeah, so the people that we do bring around all the time are so genuine. Like, they're, yeah, they're yeah. cool motherfuckers, bro. Nice. So that's why we were like, I was asking around, like, have you ever met this dude? Is he, is he a nice person? That's my first thing. Like, is he cool? No, yeah. like, he was kind of. You got a dick. I'm like, oh, then mm. I'm good, bro. Because mm. I, I, we can have a hell of fools on the show. I'm like, that guy was a, was, that guy's a fucking asshole. Yeah. Or that guy's a little fucking creepy. I seen him do some weird shit. Like, mm. we don't want to bring people on with a, with a message of something that's not positive. And yeah. no matter what, everything you've said has been super fucking positive, and everything you've put out has never been like on some hateful shit. I feel and. I definitely That's lost it. my cool once in the store, and it's on video. It's my most uh, popular video. Some kid comes up to me, mom well, just making my video, bro. I hadn't even st- I hadn't even smoked in the store. I was just pouring up my soda, and this kid starts filming me, bro. He starts filming me type shit, and I lost my cool. I was like, um, get the fuck out of my face, bro. Get the fuck out of my face. And I was calling him some names and shit. You feel me? And then I poured my soda. Oh, on this is the one me and you watched. The first thing we him. watched, I went, oh. Filming you like how? Like, I'm. Being, it, it was just, yeah, I didn't know you hadn't smoked yet. I just saw, we just saw pieces of it. Yeah, I didn't smoke in there. Um, Does he watch your videos then and knew what you were going to do or something? I don't know. I think he was just upset that I was in the. I don't know. He was trying to be B Cam. Because I, I was. <laughs> I only had like a thousand subscribers. There was no way he knew who I was. Absolutely no way he knew who I was. Oh. So he's being weird to you. Yeah. He was just <sighs> hating on me. But it is what it is. You feel me? That it's my most viral video. But I hate like watching that shit and feeling the way I felt when I video uh, when I like like got super mad at him and called him that shit. You feel me? I got sick like the next day, bro. I got sick the next day. Yo, what the fuck? What's wrong? I thought I was getting called. <laughs> oh fuck! It's all good. I've had that happen where something like real bad happens and you get sick the next day. Yeah. You got sick the next day off yeah. of that. Oh, so you're you're a nice person. I feel you. I I get what you. Not sick, but like, well, I've I got physically the, sick, like the flu. Yeah, I've never gotten like that. I've just felt like dwelling on it for days and days mm-hmm. and days and days because I that confrontation, like you said, that feeling, that confrontation. I don't like having that shit. Yeah, so I don't like like on some restaurant shit. I'll let it go. Because I don't like some confrontational ass shit. Sorry, my friend well, is be no. Like, my friend John's very like, hey. I need this done now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, hey, be cool, be cool. That's his job. <laughs> but he's in a good way. He's never a piece of shit. But me, I'll be like, hey, man, they probably got... It's fine it go. if they forgot. Just, it's it's okay. fine if they I, forgot. I didn't even want it. Yeah, like, it's fine. Because I'm like, I don't like the feeling of, like, confrontation. Because if you get me pissed, I'm going to get fucking pissed. And I don't like that feeling. Yeah, that's like, like, it's not a good feeling. Yeah, I hate, it's actually the worst fucking feeling ever. And having yeah. to hit someone is the other worst feeling ever. <sighs> I don't like that shit. Yeah. Hell no. You know, like it's like an evil fucking gross re- feeling. So you got sick the next day? Yeah. I got sick. So how did that end? You Fuck. poured your drink out on him and then just dipped out of there? Yeah, I poured my drink on him. Basically, he was like, this is what pissed me off. He was like, I came at you all nice and now you're mad. That's what he <laughs> said to me. And that's what pissed me off because, bro, like, why? Like, he didn't come up to me nice and why? Like. That shit just pissed me the fuck off, bro. And then I poured my soda on him, and I walked out the store, and I went home. Well, we all get pissed, dude. I think we all get pissed. (laughs) But the fact that you feel shitty about it, 
I think kind of tells the kind of character of a person. Like, like I, I wish I wouldn't have got so fucking upset. That's good. That's a good way. And you're already like, oh, how am I going to grow from this? And that's why you're taking mushrooms and shit. Like, <laughs> you, do, yeah. you, do you follow Raw OG? Brandon Raw OG? I was just yes. thinking that. I've been Dude. subscribed to him for a minute, too. Yo, he is like that, too, with the mushrooms. Like, so what is my purpose in this? All right, I'm taking this as my intention. Like, he's yeah, he's I the one that opened my eyes to that. meditated on fucking mushrooms before. How was that? Trippy. You go to different worlds. Oh, were you doing weird deep breathing and shit? Yeah, I mean, I like to meditate, like, when I'm not tripping, but I was just doing it, like, while I was coming up on a trip. That shit was crazy, bro. Like a real meditation, like a... Yeah, yeah for, like, fucking 40 plus 45 minutes, bro. More than 45 minutes, for sure. And what are you doing within that time? Like, what just are you like thinking fucking about focusing on? seeing fucking visuals and, like, seeing different worlds and shit, bro. It's just crazy. Yeah, crazy, oh. bro. Did you talk to anybody? No, no, no. Oh, okay. Like it doesn't there? get that crazy. It doesn't get okay, that crazy. Okay, so mine, mine did. I was talking to motherfuckers and you were? conversations and shit. It was oh, scary. Silver oh, surfboard. Shit. That's silver crazy. Silver surfboard. Thank you. Were you on Hellograms? Yeah, we both we we both um, we took seven or eight grams on this one because we, we were dumb. But we were like, yeah. yo, what's eight grams like? But that's the first time ever we ever did it in the dark with no music. So whatever you're thinking, it just kind of like shoots out of your head, and you're seeing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, uh-huh. how do you see stuff without being able to see? Because it's pitch black. It yeah. was a very weird experience. But yeah, I was talking about the other world, like you're saying. Like, yeah, yeah. <sighs> like a movie. Like, you're turning pages. Like, oh, I'm here now. Now I'm here. Yeah, bro. It's yeah. trippy. It's weird as fuck. Huh? You can't even explain it, it's, really, There's bro. no f- human explanation to compare it to. Except for, it's like a movie. Because movies yeah. show weird shit. It's yeah, the only yeah. way I can describe it. Fucking, yeah. I was... In a Super Smash Bros. world, bro, in the meditation. Like the Donkey Kong where the river is under it. You ever play Super Smash Bros.? Yeah. Yeah, you know the Donkey Kong world where the there's a river going and shit? Well, it was like that material textures and shit? Like I was the, just like... Of the game? It was like I was looking at the fucking environment of that. And it was that material and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Epic. Did you look at your hands? <laughs> no, nah, I, oh. I couldn't see myself. It was like I was... You were a camera. Yeah. That's how, remember I told you my trip? I looked down, but my body's not there, but I could feel my body in real life. That's like how exactly how it was. Like, I couldn't even look down or up because, like, I was with my eyes closed type shit. You feel me? Like, I was just looking at this fucking video game world. That sounds so fun. Yeah, that sounds (laughs) trippy. That sounds so fun. I smoked salvia before I realized don't smoke salvia. Have you ever smoked salvia before? <laughs> nah, that's scary, bro. It's scary. What does that feel like? It's the worst feeling. It's like having a mushroom trip in a, in a minute and a half. Hell no. Nah. Don't, I don't advise anyone doing salvia. Do people like, still do it? Than Probably. It's way more intense than fucking mushrooms, but it's like this. Uh, when you say video game world, do you remember those commercials? Travelocity, and it was all cartoon. I went to cartoon world one time in off of a... Uh, salvia just like that but i was talking to some lady (laughs) it was crazy so when you said i'm like whoa so when you you look around you're like it's cartoon yeah that's fucking that's That's what you said like oh was it a good feeling or no No, it was the worst feeling yeah that's scary just because it was scared could it have no as soon as you come off salvia it's like uh it's like your brain's not firing right you're like what happened what am i doing if like 15 minutes you're kind of just out of it you're not here on earth huh no you're gone i zoomed (sighs) into my lap i was looking at my hat on my lap and then I was on my own lap on my hat looking around <laughs> like fuck? honey I shrunk the uh-huh. kids with Leo when that guy almost tried to kill us where look my friend held the buff and he freaked out on the salvia and was looking at all of us like he was going to start beating the shit out of us and we're Ooh. like dude we can't he'll kill all three I've of us I've seen those possession trips fuck. on YouTube yeah like pe- no, like possessed like scary, he bro. was looking at us like he was about to fucking fuck that fire dude, on bro. us and Leo's just all buff and big as fuck I'm like Oh shit! It's like a lion. <laughs> like, like hope this bro. lion doesn't want to fucking eat me today. That's how I felt. Mm. So no, I don't do salvia anymore. Hell no, yeah. You could you have got that shit at stores back in the day? Yeah, it's still legal. I think you can go to smoke shops. It's the worst. There's no. It should way not be legal, bro. Stuff. It should not be legal anymore. Ain't no way, bro. That's crazy. I guarantee you, it's still legal. That's just gross. It's gross. We had the ninety X. You ever done kratom? No, I haven't. What is that? I don't know. It's like a plant. I've never done it either. I've never done it. I know hella people that do it, though. Really? Yeah, they get the powder from the plant and then mix it with water. And they're like, bro, it feels like lean. It feels like pills. Wait. I I don't. I mean. What? Yeah. 
I know people. We need Goblin to explain the shit or something. Because yeah, I don't. I really feel like know he either. did once. Uh, oh, <laughs> you drink it? You can't yeah. smoke it. Uh, nah, it's, it either comes in pills or it comes in like powder or some shit. You get that at the nah, smoke shop too. I'm cool. Yeah, but we I'm went to the convention it. in Vegas. They had hell and kratom, bo- kratom booths. Kratom. Yeah, whatever it is, kratom. Really? Kratom. I lug them like, bro. Ew. I don't know. I don't get a good feeling. I don't get like, a good feeling from that. It sounds nah, like plankton from SpongeBob. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, nah. Scary, bro. Don't want that. I'm gonna be Trillington, shit. my friend. That shit sounds scary than a home, man. It, it, it sounds disgusting, actually, and scary. Yeah. And I'm good. Reads enough. I'm fucking. Yeah, I'll satisfied. smoke some shit. Yeah. I ain't gonna take powders. Oh yeah. The fuck. To me, if I want to ramp it up, I'll get a fucking some dabs. <laughs> um, real quick question. Sure. We do something. Well, we do something. We just started something. Marty had an idea. We do segments on the show. Okay. So this segment's called, Where Are You At? And Marty made this up. So Where Are You At is basically, we're going to give you two things, and you go, Where Are You At with this? And that's it. Okay. So like, oh, Where Are You At with fucking fighting, getting jumped? Like, you know what I mean? Like, what's the question? We need to find a better description, because that was not (laughs) a good description. Because I can't say Uh horrible things. Yeah, yeah. Because this is, these are very normal <laughs> domestic things that it's like. See, where domestic you're at with violence this. or not? Like, yeah. see, I can't say those things uh-huh. like I just said because it'd be funny to me. But you know, we're uh-huh. in trouble. That shit would be funny. See, thank you, appreciate it. So, where you at, Marty? Go for it. Shit, I'm in the dope as usual podcast. <laughs> Oh, where you? No, fool. Damn it. I'm tra- I'm you just, got I'm me, fool. And I'm looking at you like, huh? Trolling, Is this I'm fool trolling, just take trolling. a call? I'm trolling. What I'm, the trolling. Fuck? I'm trolling. I'm trolling. Sorry, go ahead. John, do me the biggest favor ever. I got some weed. Could you roll? Ah! We got a legend in the building, Could by the way. Could you roll two more joints? Yeah. Thanks. It's DJ Khaled, everybody. Thank you. Davington City, shall we? Do Jump. it. Do it. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, we're the donut? Yeah, fuck. Here, some more dabs for me, though. Yo, thank yeah, you. Oh, dab shit. that. Thank you. Hell yeah. Let's go. Dab that. They're looking. Oh, oh shit, my Oh, God. Roll one donut, one regular. Thank you, sir. Um, Yeah, dab that. Which one'd you give him? Gary Payton? Uh, or is a pink Payton? What is it? Pie hole, do pie hole first. This shit looks crazy. Yeah, do pie hole first for sure. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. No problem. Sorry, where you at? You where ready? you at? So where you at? He's gonna ask you, and that's it. You just tell us where, where you at. Right. It's all good. Simple. I'm ready. These are basically all germaphobe related to start off. <laughs> uh, where you at with the five second rule? Things fall on the ground. Are you? I'm gonna be straight up honest with you, family. I'm not eating that shit. Thank mm. you. As soon as it hits, it's over. It's. Oh uh, yeah. Trashington. <laughs> Trashington City at the end of the day. Is that how you feel too? Usually, yeah. Okay. Marty had the 15 second rule on here. And then I was like, wait, 15? That you shit know what? is if it's at my house, If I'm at my house, then I'll eat it. Depends on where you're at in your yeah. house. Huh? I'm in public. Pu- oh, public? Anything. Like on some Seinfeld shit. Well, uh, this shoelace touched the floor of a men's bathroom and it's gone. <laughs> yeah, that belt dinged against the urinal. Oh, bro. You know how many times I've done some shit? I'm like, all right, my, my right knee touched the fuck inside of a urinal. Fuck. Let's go get some water. Let me wash this shit off. I just think of like uh, the dirtiest person on earth. Urinals are on, <laughs> was the guy before me. Situations. How about in Bill stadiums? They got you pissing in a trough. I don't know if you're that's fucking disgusting. I've done. I've seen that. I think it was the A's studio. You know from the Bay. Is it the A's? What happened? The uh, <laughs> where they have the trough and they don't even have urinals. It's just one big. I'm gonna be real urinal. too, bro. <laughs> I've never been to an A's game. Only I've no? been to Giants games. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Never mind. I've never been. To A's. Is it the Giants game? Do they have urinals? I don't remember. I can't remember because I, I was one of the fucking teams. Maybe yeah, it was the Raiders Stadium. I was a kid and there was a trough and there was yeah. ice and I was like, it's prehistoric. Oh, a goddamn fuck. trough. Yeah, I was they a kid. do have that. They do have they that. Do have I'm that. pretty sure they do. Okay, yeah. so I did see that. All right, it might okay. have been. Yo. I'm not tripping. I'm not tripping. All right. Been a minute since I've been to a Giants you know? game, though. That's weird. Bro, I'm not going to be like, hey, That's what's like, up, bro? Your dick's out next yeah, to me. Yeah, yeah. Sick. <laughs> no, let's just act like it's not. Let's go shoulder to shoulder. Don't touch my wrist. Also, there's piss splashing, and exactly. yours is splashing. Get away Bro. from me. Yeah, 
Why was there why ice we, in there? <laughs> what? Why was there ice in there? There always is. I've yeah. never seen ice in that. I've so seen far? ice. Somebody leave it in the comments. People that go to games <laughs> a lot. Somebody said, you ever seen ice in the trough and everybody pisses in it? It's one long. John's cold. mortified. No. <laughs> I guarantee you we're gonna get comments like, yeah, uh, Oakland A Stadium, and blah, blah, blah. I guarantee you guys. I've seen it. That's I was funny. a kid and I went, Bleh. That's hella funny, bro. It's fucking just disgusting. All right, five second rule. You're done. Trash yeah. and tin, he yeah. says. Right. Trash right. and tin, yeah. Well, I there think I know where you're gonna be at with this one. Where okay. are you at? Raw dog and door handles. Public, are you dog always like covering? This, yeah. Same. Yeah. Same. Like, let's say it's 7 Eleven. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Super <laughs> nice restaurant. Maybe I'll catch you with the elbow, but I'm you never going what? like this. Nice this restaurant. House. I I do like the finger. The finger. The bro. fingers. Fingers are not too bad. The one finger I do a lot when I got shit in my hands. I'll mm-hmm. do the one finger and go like that and kiss my hands. It yeah. gonna, it's just for peace of mind. It's not clean. I just just for peace of mind, bro. This is a good segment, bro. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, because <laughs> I'm. Good ass segment, yeah, bro. I think about this shit all the time. Is this the first time you guys done this? Second. Okay. Well, was it Goblin first? Yeah. Yeah, Goblin last week. All right. Goblin's funny as fuck. Nah, bro. He is a preposterous. The first time I funny. met that motherfucking person, I could not believe that that was a real fucking character. Like <laughs> the way yeah, he I've been subscribed is to him so, for so long. That's that's him. That's yeah. literally the same fucking guy you see. Any, it's the same dude. Yeah, that's what makes me happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see him like oh on and off camera. That fool was tight. That's what makes me stoked. Yeah, you he's know? got um, good energy. He's yeah, got he's good cool. Energy. This oh, this is the one you and I rolled. Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. Yes. Here. <laughs> Pass that. Thank you. I got this fucking Suge right. Knight over here. The Suge Knight. Oh, the cigar. Okay. You ready? Go. Yes. Up next. Where are you at with knocking on wood, being superstitious about shit, OCD style number things in your head? Is that- I do knock on wood. I do knock on wood. I knock on wood for sure. Like he does all the time. You can't say some shit without him. Yeah, just fast. Like, subconsciously. I'm not sure why. I'm not. I don't even know why I do that. It started my, my uncle John put the shit in my head. Oh no! And the numbers thing. He did it to me. He's like, you know what? <laughs> TV will blow up. Like TV will blow up on an odd number on the TV. What, the what do you? Why? What, what's a numbers thing? Odd numbers. Okay. The odd numbers are people that count OCD shit. Oof. That shit sucks. Like, I would have never thought Goblin said he only goes up volume on the TV so in like only 10 increments. Oh, in increments of 10. 20, he's like, 20, only 30, 10. 30, 50. Only 20. Or only th- shit like that. So it's the most OCD shit. Like, people mm-hmm. have little weird things. I have the same shit. Like, oh, so odd ass numbers. Get away from Even me. amount of cash only. I'd never heard of that before. That's Goblin. He's like, I only carry even amounts of dollars. Like, what? wow. I've never thought like yeah, that. Yeah, me neither. You know? Me All right, neither. so this I is knock know. on wood. That's the, that's the um, furthest you go yeah. with that. Yeah, I do that shit. I'm like, hey, don't say that about it. Mm-hmm. Don't. Like, yeah. The knock on wood, bitch. Uh-huh. My yeah, grandma real, Dolores did that cool. shit to yeah. me, too. So I don't do that. anything like that, but I also don't speak about things that I don't want to happen. So I feel like that's somewhat Manifest- super Manifesting. Yeah, true. Yeah, that's Our words are real. powerful, bro. Yeah. 100%. Our thoughts are powerful, too. Yeah. Three months ago, I know this. I'm going to quit. I know what I'm going to do. And here it is. Yeah. That's, that's manifestation right there. Yeah. It's crazy, bro. I'm good on that. It's crazy. Um, all right, up next, John's rolling, John's rolling a joint. Anybody want to smoke this right now or you want to take a day? What's going on? You sure, good? I'm yeah, gonna light this I'm joint then. All right, I'm gonna light yeah. this joint. Go for it, Marty. All right, now if you had to choose one, deep sea cave diving, cave diving, or jumping out of a plane, where are you at? Jumping out of a plane, You'd I'm rather. not going deep sea cave diving. Nope. You feel me? You know what? Cave diving looks fun, like going into actual caves and shit, crawling in tight tight spaces. That oh looks no, fun. you would do that worst. shit. Yeah, I would do like easy ones, not like fucking professional. You, you see those those YouTubers yeah. that are like crawling those through are a fucking crazy, circle, bro. Oh, that shit not, is crazy. Dude. I would do like an easy one, but yeah, not, I'm not claustrophobic. So not, I'm cool. I'm not. So I'm yeah. could I'm good with that. Like I can be in a small ass. I can sleep better. I yeah. think. If I'm like in a small ass space, especially as a kid, you really? sleep on your yeah. side. No, I can't do it no more. Mm. Fuck, it's, mm. it's not good for your back. So I just try to. Sleep. I'm trying to do things to not fuck up my back because I hurt my back when I was a kid. So it's always been fucked up from so sports. Uh, so I used to, that, and I used to do weightlifting. I used to do my, my whole family does moving companies. So I oh, was wow. doing moving my whole life and shit. Wow. So I fucked my back. Picking up, up heavy ass shit. Yeah, thinking I'm cool, picking up shit by myself. Look, fuck you. 
<laughs> my cousins worked with me. So but like, it was cool, bitch ass. It was dope as fuck. <laughs> like, look, feeling like Hercules. Like, uh-huh. don't yeah. worry. In five years, your back's done. And then that's what happened. So, yeah, all the above. All right. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think I could be, see going, putting the caves underwater is a whole nother thing. If you want to watch a crazy ass video, watch, uh, Cowboy Cerrone on Rogan's podcast. He mm. went, uh, he was like somebody that would like strategically map out caves underwater. You go in there with like, you know, it's like he did like volunteers for that shit, but he went in with somebody and like he went in and they went off course or some shit. And then they, all you got to do is kick up some silt. You kick up the bottom a little bit. Now you can't see anything. You can't see yep. the person you're with. Yep. You drift apart and it's fucking over. And he Are you serious? Yeah, it yeah. was horrifying listening to him talk describe he's a professional athlete. And he was trapped in these caves describing I think I've heard it. I've heard Ooh, that one was before. horrifying. That's crazy. That sounds bro. so fucking <laughs> scary. Do you yeah. do you guys like swimming? I like swimming in you do? pools. Really? Yeah. I don't fuck with that shit. In, in pools? No. So like, do you know how to swim? Yeah, I mean, I can. I can right. swim. Is it a germ thing? Is it a public pool thing you're getting at? I just, man, I just I don't, find it, I don't find it fun. Swimming? Yeah, I don't find it fun. Do you go underwater? Yeah. Going underwater and laying on your back in the bottom of the pool is the most fun I've ever had in my whole life to this day. It's the best thing ever. For real? But you'll die under there, so you have to come back <laughs> up. Yeah. And I can't fucking sink. I can only uh-huh. float because I'm fucking buoyant. No, we're about to get a pool, and I'm going to become a fucking fish. <laughs> I haven't been swimming... I can't give ass. Like, I was thinking, chlorine's got the best branding of anything of all time. Why? Because people are like, but there's chlorine in the water. There could be a fucking dead body in the water. People are like, there's chlorine in the water. It's fine. Oh, yeah, you're right. You know don't what worry. Like, shit in it. There's chlorine. It's clean. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't like chlorine. Yeah, it hurts your eyes when you're in the yeah. bottom of the pool trying to look it's up. It's chemical, right? I don't want that shit all yeah, over me to begin with. Yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> it's a chemical. You're not wrong. <laughs> a chemical. <gasps> So it's like people are all for that's what I'm saying. It's got the best like press of all time. People are going any public pool that anybody's ever been in because of chlorine. Also, there's no sharks in the sky or giant yeah, squids. Yeah, no. Facts. So I'm fucking Facts, skydiving. Yeah. Exactly. That's one variable. With but a professional yeah. too. No, these yeah, are we so would low be missions. valid, bro. We would be valid. If that would be scary as hell, though. I wouldn't. I don't. Think, that would be scary. I don't know what hell. amount of money it would take for mm-hmm. me to jump out of a plane. Uh, but it's got to be astronomical. It's just covering my funeral costs. Yeah, not even that. I'm thinking like, so we if I go, die, bro. I could have made. No, oh, hell no. You should go. I think you should do it. We could t- take a trip to Dabbington City. <laughs> you can do that. I'm down with that. On the way take down. Take a trip to Dabbington City, then jump, jump out of a fucking plane. plane. <laughs> That's not going to help it. I don't <laughs> think, bro. All right. That that leads into our next where you at, actually. Because you're you're... In these places, using all different kinds of devices, right? You're not limited to the pen. Yeah. You got blunts. You got papers. You got bongs. You got your dabs. You got your pens. You're all over the place with this shit. Yeah. If you had to pick only one for the rest of your life, where you at? Which one are you picking? Joints. Joints for really? sure. Really? Yeah, that's the best way to smoke. That's the best way to smoke. I'm in a, a backwood phase right now. I smoke a lot of backwoods, but I always end up going back to the joints. Going back to the joints. Do you find yourself smoking backwards because you like the tobacco? One hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the little fun, spice too. kick. Right. It's fun. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I hear from all my homies. Like, I just can't kick. Yeah, I like it. I'm like, that's yeah. fine. But it's tobacco at the end of the day. Yeah, it is. It is. Mm-hmm. Oof. But I go through do your own thing. It, yeah. I everybody does their own shit. It. Bongs, I think, was my favorite until recently. Because mm-hmm. I, oh, people always ask me, I'm like, bongs are always going to win, but you can't just walk around like this with a bong. And I think that's mm. why being able to, I'm not saying I'm driving, but being able to be in a car and listen to music and doing shit and smoking a joint is the best. It's the, it's the most fun thing in the world. Mm-hmm. Not, driving. Yeah. not driving. Yeah. Not driving. Not driving. Parked out front of the Cribbington. Yep. Mm-hmm. Completely parked. Not even keys in it. Bumping music on my phone. In the passenger right? seat. In the passenger in the back seat. seat. In the back seat. Yeah, the back of the back, bitch. Maybach coming soon. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yes. Do you have cool glass though? Are you into that shit? Like uh, I don't. I have a sixty dollar like China uh bong. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. Well, I don't even really have a dab glass. rig. I feel like we're gonna have to hook them yeah, up before we leave. Yeah, for sure. I just bought that piece. It's the first cool piece I've ever had in my life. 
because I feel you. I'm like, yeah. oh, I just use a pee because I don't really care that much. Yeah. They break too, man. I've had a nice, I've had like $200 dab rig before and it broke and it on me. It breaks your heart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's not like the money is more of like, now it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, man. Exactly. Bro. Yeah. It's that shit's emotional. Money. Yeah. That shit's emotional, bro. It's like, that's my shit. Thank God, but I've only, I've only broken one piece. And yeah, it was like fucking twenty dollars. Mm. I don't give a fuck. But still, mm -hmm. that's why I didn't give a fuck. You haven't mm. broken a piece since then. No. Nice. Not me. Yeah. No. I mean, hey. I've had friends. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Yeah, what's up? Last one. If you had to pick either one Ooh. music person or one YouTube channel for life, you could only you have one subscription for life. It's got to be a music person or a YouTuber. Who is it going to be? Wow, Marty. The hardest question I've ever seen. Okay, music. I'm saying Michael Jackson, bro. Good Jackson, shit. Yeah, that's my favorite artist. Oh my god, we're okay. Here we go. Michael, Jackson. Michael Jackson's your favorite artist. Yes, Do you sir. like baby Michael Jackson or like or like twenty year old Michael Jackson? Shit, I like all the phases. I like all the phases, man. Me too. He's so sick. Interesting. Musically. Cool answer. I like that answer. He's got when I was fucking catalog. five years old, bro, my dad would just play the videos of Michael Jackson performing his shows, and I would just watch that shit on repeat and dance to him and try to copy his fucking dance moves and shit. Nice. Yeah, fucking Michael Jackson <laughs> heavy. He's my favorite artist, bro. Fuck no yeah, because usually we have Michael Jordan or Michael Jackson. Uh -huh. that, yeah. You know what I mean? That's usually one of the questions. Uh -huh. Oh, shit. All right, so what's your top? Hold on. What's your top three favorite artists? Oh shit, that's hard, bro. That's way too in hard. in genres. You could do it. Pop music. Michael Jackson is a pop artist. King yeah. of pop. If you had to go like, like worldwide like, music, uh, lifetime most listened to. Like if you had a oh, lifetime. Oh shit. Ticker. Yeah. <sighs> Fucking Young Lean's up there for sure. Wow. Young Lean. Fucking. Lately, I've been listening to a lot like Larry June and Baby Smooth music. Larry June's awesome. Yeah, I fuck with Larry June. Yeah, Larry June's dope. I like motivational music nowadays. Like who? Like what? Like Larry June, Baby Smooth. That's you know what? You, you're right. Yeah. Larry June is very motivational, actually. Yeah. You got to get him on here. Larry June's dope. That yeah, would yeah. be dope. That yeah, would be dope. That's Ratchet Man's homie. That mm. would be fucking dope. Ooh, all right. You listen to a lot of Larry Baby Smooth. Why do I feel like I've not heard this? He's before? from Detroit. I don't He's know if I've slaps. heard him. Yeah? Yeah. I don't know if I've heard I, it before. All right, Michael Jackson. What else you listen to? Mm, rock music. Like what? Like fucking emo shit. I like, American, like what? American football. Well, that's band. a band? Yeah. Oh, I like this one it. small band. I'm going to put y'all motherfuckers on. Daphne Loves Derby. Look their shit up. The song Hammers and Hearts. That shit slaps. You feel me? Rock music? Slaps. It's like new emo music? Nah, they're from... The early 2000s. It's like oh, a yeah, Korean, Korean singer guy, but the band slaps. No shit. They're, they're not even together anymore, I don't think. Daphne Loves Derby is fire. Shit. Yeah, I listen to weird-ass music. The first concert I ever went to was AFI and Green Day. Oh, fuck yeah. AFI, AFI is and badass. Green Dude, Day is that's, sick that's as fuck. That's one of my favorite bands, too, bro. Really? I used to love AFI. Oh, so you Man. like... You like Emo music like I do too. I think we AFI. all have that nuts. <laughs> yeah, I was just yeah. bumping my chemical romance out of nowhere the other day. I was like, you know what? Yeah, that's what my this sister shit likes. Takes me back. That's what my sister likes. Takes me back. Marty's like, I don't, I don't know. know. I was bumping fucking. About. I was bumping Bumped fucking. Yeah, I was only bump. <laughs> Marty's from New York. Yeah, Marty's from New York and only listen to hip hop. So we had to put him on a little bit. It's very uh, educational. Push my hair down this way. I was just in New York for the first time, man. I saw that. It was beautiful. New York City, I loved right? it. Yeah. It was crazy. Sick. I loved it. It's so much different from California, man. I said, I said I know that you're you're from here. We went to New York for the first time this year. It blew my mind. It blew my mind, too, man. Frisco, I've been to Frisco many times. What the fuck? The vibe was great, different. though. Yeah, it was, it was great. Positive. Nobody was being a dickhead. Yeah. I seen some mouses on the street, though. Yeah, um, I only saw one. You did? Yeah, and I, I was expecting, <laughs> like, mouses. Splinter and shit. Uh -huh. Fucking Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I was expecting monsters. <laughs> I saw, we saw one, but that motherfucker was a cat. He was huge. It was a huge ass fucking. It was a crap. <laughs> this fucking it was at least like the size of a Subway sandwich. Fuck. But that's the only one we watched. The only one we saw. Mm -hmm. I was expecting mountains. Oh, no. Yeah. No, I Bad I've, city for anytime sure. Anytime I've been there, it fucking hasn't been like that. But they're there. For, they're, they're fucking I didn't there. see Hecker. Yeah. I was over exaggerating. <laughs> but I definitely saw multiple. Uh huh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Multiple I don't really see enough, that in bro. SF. I never really no? seen too many rats and shit in SF. Oh, I haven't Maybe been there I'm in tripping. a minute, though. Maybe I'm tripping. I haven't been there a long Am time. Am I tripping right now? I don't know. Because there is human feces and shit. For damn sure. SF is pretty... San Francisco is, is, is bad. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. It's so bad now. It's fucking bad. My sister went and her windows got busted and she didn't even live there. She was there for like wow. minutes. Mm-hmm. And I know a lot of fools that I know live there leave their windows down. Mm. Like, yo, just there's nothing. Please don't bust God. the windows. Because fools are just breaking windows everywhere, man. That's <laughs> smart. Leave your window down. Yeah. That's actually smart. Oh, I saw My shit just got busted. <sighs> I need to get it tinted. Fuck. I need to get it tinted. Not even in SF. Goddamn fucking like. 25 miles east of SF. I got bit. They have bit. Yeah. Were you at a restaurant? Yes. Yep, that's where it's all. And there was fucking like thousands of dollars worth of camera equipment in the car. There was hella weed in the car, but they didn't take anything. This motherfucker broke my window and he bled on the car. Like there was blood on the car door and like my weed was up front. his shit and bounced. Yeah. My, there was weed in the front. There was hella camera equipment in the back. He didn't touch shit. It's weird. It was so weird. Definitely cut his wrist open and bounce, bro. You think died. A tweaker? <laughs> oh, shit. It died. Marty. Damn. Yeah, that'd be crazy. Bled out. <laughs> oh, that my. Fool just bled laying out. in the there, parking bro. lot. Damn. Got away with nothing. Hell no. His hand's just in your window. With, oh, like, man. fucking glass all 360 <laughs> around the arm. Oh, he was an un- unprofessional bipper. Ain't there no professional bipper who's actually, like, taking shit from cars is busting Pussing the windows their hand. with their Yeah, hell the no. Little, the little busting. That, what is yeah, it? Yeah, they have a tool. A little tool. They have a tool. Yeah. It's Something. crazy. It cracks the window so fast. It's mm. fucked up. I've seen fools, uh, full-on cars just get taken. Bust the window. They put it. I don't know how they're doing it, but they're putting these cars in neutral or pushing them. And then they turn them on because they're loud as shit. What the hell? Kind of cars like, I won't say, but kind of cars like yours that you came in? Yeah. Those cars. Yeah. I've seen them getting swiped. Yeah. But it's all in like the Midwest. I've been seeing these videos, but damn, these guys are good as fuck with some of these cars. That's they're crazy. in 30 seconds gone. Damn. Dude. Jesus That's Christ. crazy, bro. Having have insurance. Mm-hmm. Who cares? Take my car, bro. Thanks. I got paid out. Mm hmm. You think if my car got stolen, I could get another one? Yes. I could. If it was legitimately stolen? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not trying to put things in your head. <laughs> Do you have insurance? And that's what it's for. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Is that you thinking? Yeah, I was just thinking real quick. All right. All right. About some, some bad queens. But, yo, do you have a grinder? Yeah. Can we get that back? Yeah. Don't throw it. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, you're done? Hey. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, sir. Which one's a donut? Donut. Donut. Oh, my God. Let's do this. I'm going to roll up the crystal. Do it. I'm about to smoke some crystal, family. Oh, my God. <laughs> Literally, though. Literally. I'm not even lying. For everyone that's not watching and they're just listening to the car, that's what the brand of weed's called. <laughs> Please don't think that today's uh, gas fulcrum over here. He ain't so <laughs> no, I'm just smoking crystal at the end of the day. Smoking <laughs> crystal? At the end of the day. It's fire, too. It's absolutely fire. Sheesh. <laughs> Let's go. Hey. Th- oh, fuck. <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate Dang, it. Dang, those are nice. All right, this one's the donut. Damn, that shit is fucking fat. Yeah, I don't know why it's single So what'd you do while you're in New York? So one of my homies that I've been producing music for since 2018, he threw a concert. Oh, yeah, shit. and he's been, he's toured around the States and shit. He makes fire-ass music. Um, yeah, he's my homie. That's awesome. And he performed. I just went out there to go to the concert. I was in Las Vegas right before that, too, and I just, I wanted to spend November traveling and going to new places. I went to Vegas. I went to L.A. Who did we? New York. We went to fucking Vegas in November and New York in November. Wow. <laughs> Damn, we're on the same shit, bro. <laughs> we're on the together, same, actually. We're on the same shit. I feel like I've seen you live in New York this year, bro. What do you mean? Like, Last um, week? I've seen you on the live stream. Like yeah, the yeah. IRL we were live stream. Yeah, we were, we were in New York, uh... End of November, right? Mid no, be, beginning of November, yeah. Beginning what were you doing out there? We're doing a pop up for the dope shop. 
Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, we're doing a pop-up. Fuck up. yeah. Can uh, you do that in any state, like a pop-up? Yeah, I mean, wow. it's all legal. Our HAC is legal everywhere. That's you can do crazy. it in Indiana, you can do it anywhere. That's yeah, we crazy. did one in Indiana. It was crazy. That is crazy. Yeah, that shit was sick. Do we know when Houston is? Houston is January 22nd. Yep, January 22nd. Nice. People are fucking waiting on that. Yeah, one. we're going to start. We got to start promoting that shit right after Christmas. 22nd, damn. Yeah, Houston. Um, we don't have the location yet, but we do? Your smile tells me not. <laughs> oh, you don't remember? Okay, okay, it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, we got the location. Uh, we're going to announce that shit soon. BC Smoke Shop. What? BC Smoke Shop. Oh, yeah. shit. So that's the last one. Was we, we did what? Huntington <laughs> Beach. Merced, right? That was that was just for my for me. Oh yeah, no, a, that wasn't an yeah. one. Yeah, um, we did Huntington Beach, Indiana, New York, Miami. Miami, we just did, and then we're gonna finish off in Texas. Finally oh, wow. done. Do you like flying? Are you? Do you fuck with that or no? Uh, I don't mind it. You don't mind it? Okay. You know then what? You're fine. Sometimes it's annoying. You feel me? I like the um the JSX. That's nice. nice. The jet suite. Oh, that's you nice. like that shit? Okay, that's what yeah. he flies. I don't like that's flying nice. it. Oh, it's the little yeah, 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 oh. yeah. There's turbulence on that bitch. Bro. There's turbulence on I'm that I'm so bitch. happy I didn't fly back with him last time. He told me it was awful. Well, fuck, just like the regular um, airplane, especially if it's like a fucking like six hour, five hour plus flight, bro. Fuck, it's like you're sitting in, in between people. I don't fuck with that shit. Bro. Yeah, no, it's the worst. I just, I, I just can't. I hate flying so much, dude, just because I'm in the sky. And it's scary as fuck. Fucking yeah! I I always just had a had a bad experience at LAX, bro. Like bad what? experience, goddamn it! Um, <laughs> I got caught taking dabs in the bathroom, bro. How, how long ago? Uh, this was a. I need to hear this. This I was a couple weeks ago. Oh, fuck! We, am I allowed to talk about this? Can you tell me? <laughs> I mean, I'm not Did in trouble. Did you talk to your lawyer? I'm not in trouble. <laughs> you're, not in tr you're not in trouble? Nah. Like, I the cops came, and they said, we don't even give a fuck, bro. But they let you done, and this is over, and the, and the whole thing's done. So, basically... Um, Before I, you start saying it, like, you're not in trouble. They make trouble. a call, a lawyer. You didn't go to jail. You didn't get arrested. They let you leave or get on your flight and go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, basically, okay. this is what happened, man. I, I, I got caught in the bathroom taking trips to Dabington City. <laughs> <laughs> and then the security guard saw me, and then he called the cops He was in me. there? Nah, he walked in on me when I was taking a trip to Dabington City. Were you in the stall? No, nah, I don't know what I was thinking, bro. No! <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. No! Bro. I was up for hella long. I was like tripping, bro. Oh, I was tripping, bro. Shit. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking, bro. I don't know what I was thinking. So he walked in and you're taking a dab off what? Off my proxy. So off you're proxy. smoking a pipe that's glowing and he walks in? <laughs> yeah. And then he's like, hey, bro. So basically... um. I'm going to call the cops on you. You can try to run or you could just try to talk to them. Honestly, if you run, it's going to be bad. You feel me? And so the cops come and then they told me, uh, what were you doing in there? I was like, I was just uh, vaping, sir. Because at the end of the day, it, it is you vaping. Know, yeah, it's I was, I was vaping. He was like, bro, honestly, we don't care. We don't care. This is kind of like a waste of our time, bro. Of course it is. Um, they don't want you to fly anymore. Delta mm -hmm. Air, they don't want you to fly anymore. And then I told him, I was like, look, officer, I don't know what I was thinking. I'm sorry. I, I just need to get back home. He's like, you, you seem like a good kid. I'm going to talk to them and tell them, like, um, it was a mistake. And, like, you're, you're not a bad kid type shit. You feel me? Like, yeah. real shit, real shit. And then he talks to them for a couple minutes. He comes back to me. He's like, so they're going to let you fly, but you have to go through TSA again. And honestly, he said, you're going to be, you'll, you'll be valid. Um, we're just looking for, like, if you have pounds of flour and shit. I didn't have any flour. I didn't have any flour on me. I was like, okay, I'll go through TSA again. I went through TSA. I put my Yeezys in the goddamn thing. It comes out the other side, and then my shoes are missing, bro. These motherfuckers snatched my shoes, bro. Yeah. I was valid, though. I, f I flew home. Did but you say anything? Yeah, I was like, yo, um, my shoes didn't come out. Um, they're like. Were they the shoes you were wearing? Yeah, they were. they just ignored me, bro. They were just ignoring me. They were just acting like I wasn't there. And I got pissed. I was like, fuck you guys. And then, um, yeah, basically, I Did just... you walk the airport with no shoes? Yeah. What the fuck? I posted on my Snapchat, too. I was like, yo... They just kept them? Yeah. They kept your shoes you were wearing? Yeah. 
Bro, what the <laughs> fuck? So bad, bro. I'm so sorry for your experience, <laughs> Delta <laughs> I mean, I guess I was in the wrong. I was smoking in there, bro. I shouldn't. Don't smoke in the airports, bro. That was a lesson I had to learn, bro. They'll steal your fucking. They'll Jesus. steal your Jesus. That was a lesson I had to learn. I'm bro. shocked. That is the. Cr- they said, "What are you gonna do about it?" Basically. Basically, they didn't even respond to me. They didn't even respond. And you look down and go, "I don't have shoes to wear." Yeah, I was like, "Fuck this! I'll just fly home with no shoes." And then I didn't um, put shoes on until I got to Oakland, and I got in the Uber, and I opened up my suitcase. Damn, they fucking robbed you. <laughs> they literally they robbed you. They didn't like even try to hide it. Like, yeah, that shit was whack. That but the thing whack. is, how did they k- take them out of the machine before they got through? I'm not sure, bro. That shit is so crazy. Right? That shit is so crazy, bro. I mean, it's not like you were like fucked up and forgot shoes. Do you think they did it as revenge? Yes. To like because I was smoking in the back. Had to have been, and, and the they let you still through. Yes, yeah. had to have been because you got your shoes stolen. Yeah, that doesn't they happen to slides. most people. They were just the easy slides. But still, you're yeah. you're walking with nothing <laughs> on your feet. Yeah, I was kind of sad. I'm gonna be real. I was defeated. I was like, I just want to go home, bro. Dude, I got no shoes. Fuck. They yeah. sent you a message, loud and clear. <laughs> yeah, bro. But it is what it is, bro. I learned my lesson. I shouldn't have been smoking in the airport. I'm no. a jackass. I'm a jackass, bro. Shouldn't have been. But also, it doesn't give them grounds to take your stuff. I'm a fucking jackass. <laughs> Damn. The fact that they let you go is so amazing. Is this in, in New York? This was in LAX. Oh, that's right. You said LAX. LAX. That's right. And you, oh, you were flying California to California. Yeah, but basically, I just, it was from New York to California, but I had hella layovers. For some reason, I had to go to LAX to Oakland. Mm. I went from. New York to Minneapolis to goddamn LAX to Oakland, bro. I don't know why I signed up for that flight, bro. I was tripping. I didn't look at it, bro. I was like, oh, it's a cheap flight. Got it. Yeah. Oh, bro, I've done shit like that so many times. I actually just signed up for the wrong English class in college, and I stayed in it, and it was it was class for English second language. Why did you stay in it? Because there was no other classes, and it was a credit, oh. and I had to get my credits over a certain amount to, for them to pay for my classes. That's tough. Yeah, it was real. It was remedial English. Now you had to run in with a Taco Bell employee also. Oh, yes, I saw sir. some of this. What happened? What happened? Shit, bro. Um, I learned a lesson this day, too, at the end of the day, necessarily. Uh, fucking basically one day I was filming a video at Taco Bell. I was smoking the wood in the Taco Bell oh, bathroom. Oh, shit. Yeah. I haven't done this since then. I haven't done this since the then. backwood. Oof. I was is, smoking is this not nerve wracking for you sitting there just boxing out a fucking bathroom? No one's somebody's gonna come. Uh, not really, because in Antioch it's different. It's mm. different in Antioch. But basically, the Taco Bell employee, I went inside the goddamn Taco Bell after I hot boxed the bathroom, and I was like, "My bad, I was so it took so long in the bathroom. I sharded my pants. Do you guys have some napkins?" And then he leans in. Um, he's like, what did you say? He said, what did you say? I was like, yeah, I started my pants. And then he grabs my GoPro and like he forcefully took it from me type shit. Like violently. Like he violently took it from me. And then fuck yeah. <laughs> and then fuck yeah. Basically, he's like, I'm going to call the cops. I'll give it back to you when the cops get here type shit. And then I just dipped. I dipped. <sighs> but then basically I came back like an hour. I came back maybe like. 30 minutes later to I was like, bro, I'm not taking the L on this shit. I'm getting my GoPro back. Yeah. I went back an hour later. The cop was there. I was like, oh fuck. And I fucking talked to the cop. And the cop was like, Yeah, I've seen your videos, bro. He's like, he's like, you're funny. He's like, you gotta keep going. He's like, you just Hold on. You, you got away are, and went back, saw that there was a cop there and still went in there. To yeah. try to get your shit back. Yeah, bro. Because there's no running from it, bro. Like, yeah. there's no running from it, bro. And you want your shit back, too. Yeah. Fuck that. I wanted my shit back. But the cop was cool, I guess, you know? He so he cool. said, I've seen your videos? He's like, yeah. He's like, you're going to hit a million subscribers, bro. Oh, That's shit, the cop? Said. Yeah, I swear, bro. I swear. I swear. This is awesome. <laughs> he's, but honestly, I've talked to people before. The only way I could really get in trouble is if I stay in a location after they tell me to leave. Ah, but yeah. he's stole your stuff too. Yeah, and he took the SD card and damaged it, so that video of him didn't get out. 
How do you, we well, probably soaked it in water or some shit. He scratched it and fucked it up heavy, bro. What an yeah. asshole. And so basically, yeah. Ah, uh, well, no, basically, fucker. after I was talking to the cops, he, yeah. he gave me my, um, he gave me my camera back. I go back home and I realized the SD card's missing. So then I was like, what the fuck, bro? And then, yeah, I'm live streaming and shit. I'm telling my, my people's, yo, my SD cards, my SD cards missing from my camera. And so I didn't tell them what Taco Bell it was, but these people are smart as fuck. They knew what Taco Bell it was. They were calling up the Taco Bell. They're like, you stole, you stole Fulcrum's SD card. Oh. You stole SD card. <laughs> and they were like spamming the address of the fucking location and shit. I did not, I did not. Really you didn't ask that. for that. Yeah, you yeah. didn't ask for that or tell them which one it was. And then basically, um, yeah, the Yodi family donated to me and they're like. Do you want to hit this donut? Sure, I'll try it. Hell yeah. Swag, thank you. No the Yodi problem. family, they were like, um. Uh, Fulcrum, we've been calling goddamn Taco Bell. They say you're at, they have your SD card and you can come and get it back. Because at first I called them like a few hours before. I was like, you guys have my SD card? They were like, nah. But he was just trying to figure out how to delete the videos of him off the SD card. Fucking and then yeah, Yodi gang, Yodi gang was calling up the goddamn Taco Bell. They're like, where's Fulcrum's SD card? And then they're like, yeah, eventually they're like, yeah, we have his SD card. He can come back and get it. And he fucking scratched the shit out of it before he got there. Yeah. He was fi- he was trying to figure out how to delete the video. So what a fucking dick. So the video didn't get back. I feel do you have the SD card still? No, I threw it away. Ah, you should have kept it for some recovery data bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I could have recovered it. I think maybe I possible. I think someone out there liked your videos enough to put the dedication in. They're like, yeah, I know how to do that. That video would have been crazy, bro. Snatched your shit. That's fucking st- oh. I live streamed it when so I went back and confronted him, shit. bro. I live streamed on Instagram when the I the same was, guy. Yeah, and I confronted him to get my SD card back because he was because Yodi family they were like, "Yo, you can go back and get your SD card." And that was while I was live streaming on my computer. I was like, "Yodi family, I'm gonna be back from the live stream in 15 minutes. I'm gonna hop on live stream on Instagram, like confronting this guy and getting my SD card back." And this dude was playing, bro. He was just being a dickhead, bro. He was just being a dickhead, and I got it all on the live stream. That's a telephony. It's on YouTube. <sighs> It's on YouTube. So, well, ah, oh, damn! I really wanted to see if you got that video back. Mother damn! You come in there, you box his bathroom, you ask him about sharting your pants, and you get him on his heels after he calls one cop. <laughs> you talk about sharting your pants. That's pretty much exactly what happened. Okay, so you're not going to get the video back. The card's gone, but yeah, it's a good story. It's a good story. Also. I think if anybody's taking something from you, you're allowed to take it back. Fuck that. Uh, what do you mean? Like he was taking his shit. Like I think you can. I think legally, Employees if anybody out there, I don't think they could take your shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're not trying to like. I'm not gonna fight somebody over a yeah. fucking GoPro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, for sure. I get it. I understand what you're saying. But I was saying for everyone out there, like that's illegal. Can they stomp they you out? Like, if they see you stealing something, can an employee... Oh, my God. Can they stomp you out? I thought that's I what you said, I don't bro. think so, dude. <laughs> Is that what you said? Yeah, like... Stomp, stomp you out? You if they out. see you stealing and you fight back and they end up just stomping you out, or like... I, I don't think they can. Don't think... Yeah, I don't think they can. Like, like the KFC thing, that guy throwing yeah. things at you. I don't think you can do anything. No, my manager told me to go to the back. He's like, Go! Yeah. Oh. Because mm. you you have to um represent the, the company... Fuck that. Yeah, I've worked at I worked at Starbucks for two years, too. How was uh, that? The customer, That's a whole different environment. The customer's always right at Starbucks. That's got to be nerd. You, you can't be high And you have Starbucks to do those customer connections, too. What does that mean? It's You're encouraged <laughs> to do customer connections. You have to um, start conversation with everyone. Oh, God. All the customers and shit. What's the interview like at Starbucks? I don't know. It's pretty easy. I kind of... I've always finessed my shit, bro. I knew how to fucking finesse that shit. Hi. Yeah. Turn on your customer yeah. service voice and yeah, smile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It gets you a long way. Yeah. It really will. Like that cop. You seem like a nice guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Like, you see, yep. you see, yeah, sir. I, I'm sorry. I apologize. It's important I, in life to have I've that. been up for a long time. My dad taught sorry. me that. Yeah? I've seen my dad get pulled over and just like smile his, his way, way out of it. <laughs> Shout out to your dad for teaching you that shit. Because I yeah. feel like a smile and being nice goes so fucking yeah. far. My dad taught me as a young child too, like. You got to move through life with conviction and shit. With conviction. 
That was the biggest lesson my dad taught me for so. What does that mean to him? Like, um, you got to live with conviction, bro. Like, you got to um, really own this shit. Like, you can't half-ass it. You can't half-ass this shit. What does your dad do? Um, he's a he's an IT. Uh, he works. Oh, computers IT. and shit. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Oh, and the oh, you're in the bay. Yeah. All right, all right. Makes fucking sense. He's smart. He's very smart. And your dad smokes weed, and he's a runner. Yeah. Fuck. Ultra what, runner. What, so what, what is does ultra that mean? Runner? That's like hundred over mile like marathons over and marathons and shit, longer than marathons and shit. No yeah. shit. Yeah. Rosie did the LA marathon. That was twenty six miles. That's Ooh. a lot. That's a so lot. Much. Lots. That's a lot so of training insane. and shit. Huh. That's a lot of training. That's crazy. I, me and John are going to do a f- our first 5K soon. Let's go. How m- that's three miles? It's three miles. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's just a start. We're going to get high as hell right before. I would have to train for that. And then. That's hard. Oh, even if I walk half, I'm like, yo, I'm mm-hmm. out here doing it. And at the end, I'm going to slide up a joint. Does he like go up in the mountains and shit? Is he all yeah. extreme? Yeah. Damn, yeah, your yeah. dad runs over. So what's a, what is an over marathon? What the hell is I don't even know, bro. Have you I ever been to know. any of these before with him? I, my dad went to the Boston Marathon when I was in sixth grade, and I went to Boston with my family and shit. No yeah. shit, he ran yeah. the Boston Marathon. Yeah, your dad's you, legit. You have to qualify for that shit, like fast ass marathon. No shit, so your dad's yeah. up there. He's really good. Yeah. Did you do track in school? I feel like you did long. No, jump. I played tennis. I played. Oh, tennis. you played tennis. All right, yeah. something where you're long yep. and have to do something. That's how I feel. The sport you played, like my little brother, something gangly, like <laughs> long, because like. You're what two inches ho- taller than me? Like we're not like when How we stood up. I'm like five, almost five nine ish. You're like what five eleven, almost six foot. I'm like five ten ish, maybe. Five yeah, I'm saying you're like this much taller than me when I met. Because online you look like you're six ten and shit. So when I met, really? like, oh shit, you're not a fucking gigantic person. All right, mm. all right. So when Damn. I saw you, I'm like, oh, this fool does some some athletic. What sport does this dude uh-huh. play? That's what I was thinking. Like water polo, maybe. Waterfall. It's like Rocco. You look at my old brother. Waterfall. I know. No. Now now that we talked, I know that you don't swim in pools. That's wild. Hell no. Get high and sit in a sauna. I mean, sit in a hot tub. tub. Yeah, I like hot tubs. That's true. But just sit in the shallow end of the pool. Yeah. Smoke weed. Mm, Maybe on a hot ass day. Yeah, on a hot ass day. day. Shit's sick. Necessarily, perhaps that might be a good idea. Yeah, that'd be dope as hell. Actually, I did it. My mom. My mom has a pool. She lives in the country. It's the weirdest thing. To be out in the cuts and like in a pool of water. And now it's nowhere. nothing but stars, bro. That's sick, though. I like it's that. It's dope. But that it's like, yo, woke. what animals are out there? That sounds woke as hell. It's wild out there. Because there's no light pollution. You see every fucking star. Mm-hmm. And you're in a pool of water. Ooh, that's a mushroom trip shit. My mom does mushrooms every fucking day now. She's microdosing really? every oh, day Oh, wow. Now. She's wild as hell. Microdosing's kind of cool, man. Yeah, she fucks with it. Does it work if you do it every she day? She loves it. She loves it. Mm. Damn. Shit. Yeah. I mean, it's like a med- medicinal drug. Fuck it. Hell yeah. It's better than pharmaceuticals. Yeah, most oh, definitely. I mean, we're not most pushing definitely. that YouTube. Sorry. We're just talking about our own opinions and shit over here. Yeah, we're just talking about Minecraft at the end. Of the <laughs> My- Minecraft. Uh, yeah, the roleplay server we were playing on. That's a good yeah. disclaimer. So that is a good disclaimer. This is talking. all talking about games. My little brother's heavy into Minecraft. My little brother's been at, uh, told me about you what three months, four months ago. Really? That's yeah. My little epic. brother watches yours. He told me about Goblin too. Wow. My little brother's on that shit, dude. Heavy. <coughs> he smokes. No, he doesn't smoke. He tried to smoke, but he didn't like it. Rocco's a demon. Yeah, my little brother. He was on the show. He had him on the show once too. He's a fool. I think I seen. I hopped in that live for a bit. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah, because I, I tap in. It's every Monday, huh? Yeah. Every Monday, yeah. I've been tapped in, bro. Appreciate you, man. I've been tapped in. Let's go. Adam 22 one was crazy. Yeah, that fool's fucking that fun. Crazy. He's a wild ass dude. Yeah. Like, in a funny way. Definitely. Like, oh, this is you. That was a real question. He's like, you wouldn't have uh, sex with a girl with... Oh, yeah. I'm not going to keep going into <laughs> it, but... <laughs> but what? This is the wildest <laughs> question I've ever been asked. It's like, well, you wouldn't risk it? I mean, she's positive. Like, we're just going to leave it at that. I'm like, uh-huh. that is the craziest question I've ever been asked in my entire life. I don't even know if I want to restrict this age, age restrict this episode by saying it, but he's the only guest that's going to ask you that shit. Yes, <laughs> yes, but he, he was dope. He's a funny guy. He's wild as hell. Um, all right, Marty. Damn, you got more? No, nah, that's just that's. Dude, Marty, you're crushing on these notes. Are you serious? 
Here we go. Let's do it. He's a professional. Fuck, Marty. Damn. Oh, is this the oh. first podcast you've ever done? <laughs> like, yeah. on the podcast? <laughs> like, the first podcast you've ever worked on? Oh, no. Oh, for real? Yeah, I worked on a bunch of them kind of behind the scenes since, like, 2013. Shit. It's fucking beautiful, man. I love. Thank you guys for having me on, bro. It's yeah, man. beautiful. The setup you guys have. Thank Thanks you for being here, man. Great, bro. It's great. Yeah, but this is the first podcast Marty's like on. Yeah, yeah I mean, like our shit. Yeah, I played yeah, yeah, yeah. various different roles behind the scenes. Yeah, all that. Uh, that's, when we made this one, we wanted it to be legendary. We wanted it to be a cool place for everybody to hang out on Mondays. Mm-hmm. And yeah, and if you don't, even if you don't smoke weed, yeah, it's still fucking fun to come. Yeah. Let's do an episode. We've had sober episodes before. Like, we've done that many times. Just, I feel like the show's more people we see out there, like, dude, what a conversation that would be. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And when we see YouTubers, like I said, we don't really watch YouTube that much. It's the fans that ask so much. And then yeah. they go, oh, draws attention. Like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So this this one is, I, like I said, from the beginning of this episode, this is the one that people have been asked for. The yeah, so thank you guys for the good suggestions. Yeah, That's thank awesome. you guys. This is good good stories, good, good shit. Oh, yeah. I like it. So where do you see yourself in the next? No, you know what? Before I ask that, before I forget, because I, earlier I was going to ask it, Yodi Land, like I said before we started, I thought he was talking about OG. For everyone out there, me and him were talking earlier. Yodi Land, that's what OG calls me. He calls me Yodi all the time. So I thought everybody was tagging that in my stream. Yodi Land, Thomas is in Yodi Land. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. You guys well, love OG. That's a great episode. Because he called me Yodi in those episodes. I'm like, oh, okay, okay. I get it. What the fuck is this? What does this come from? And you've been saying this for a long ass time. So this is your damn tagline, brand. What is yeah. this? What is what, Where did you get this from? So a lot of people think that it means just like getting faded. But I've always said Yodi Land is like being in the present moment and going after like your purpose and your goals. Like that, you, you don't even have to smoke and be in Yodi Land. But basically, I got the word Yodi from 2019. Me and my homie were just hanging out. We were drinking like hella beers type shit. We would call the 40s, the 40s Yodis. Go to the store and get some Yodis type shit. Oh, go to Yodi Land. We would call each other um, the Yodi Gang. We would call each other the Yodi Yodi Gang and shit. And eventually I just incorporated it on the YouTube channel. Totally understand now where you get it from. What 40s were you drinking? I got to know. Shit. We would get the, we would get these ones. The 40s? Yeah. These ones, we would get the Corona ones too. You talking about the Miller High Lifes? Yeah. Yeah. Is that the same shit as this? Miller High Life. And Miller High, Miller Light, Miller Miller makes Miller High Life. Oh, okay. Yeah, Miller High Life's thirty twos. They're like a dollar forty, a dollar sixty. Yeah, I remember cheapest cheap shit. That they're the oh, cheapest one. Those are the cheapest ones, but they're bomb. They're pretty good. They're pretty For a dollar something, I remember. I mean, they're probably more now. Oh yeah, appreciate oh, yeah. it. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate. What a appreciate What a yeah, yeah. Oh. You're the Goldington. Oh man, Sippington City, shall we? Best believe it. Goddamn it, does it go much further than that? Fulcrum, come in. Yo, Yodi gang. Oh, shit. That was the whole Cheers. thing. All right. That's your whole tagline? Tag Damn. You should put that on a sticker. I think that would be fucking hilarious to yeah. see a sticker <laughs> written out that fucking law. My dad's making some stickers right now. Oh, is it that? I don't know. He's going to make so. the catchphrases and stuff, though. <laughs> I'm like, Dad, make some stickers. All make right, so stickers. hold on. You're... you're all of these things are just shit that you've acquired in your vocabulary over time. Yeah. All right. Makes sense to me. Like the fucking... Makes sense. You know how I like add... I say stupid shit all the time. You know how I like say like Beddington, Goodington, like I'll add Inkton to different shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it's just shit that me and my homies A hundred percent. Before I even made the skis. videos. My homies... Skis, weed skis, drink skis. Like it was like, weed all right, skis. bro, anything. Gonna get food <laughs> skis. Like, all right, Jeebs. For the free ski? Yeah, for exactly. Like, let me get it for free skis. Same, <laughs> yeah. same shit. It's just bullshit you say with your friends. So now you now every now you got the world saying it. All yeah. the bullshit you say with your homies. Yeah. I love it, it's dude. It's mind blowing. Now dude. I get it. Now I get it. Because at first, so like, my Yo, homies, what is this tagline? Some of my homies will go to work and they'll be like, "Bro, I seen you in one of Fulcrum's videos." That's just trippy, bro. <laughs> That's just trippy. Oh, yeah. Yep, side characters. Do your whole show that everybody comes to watch yeah it's like yo who are your george costanzas to the jerry seinfelds they're all just as important 
but they all play a role I wanna put in science. <laughs> I want to, like, because I believe in my fucking <coughs> What do they do, music too? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Music, I mean, YouTube. No shit? What, they, what, what kind of videos they make? Um, yeah, some of my homies, on, they're starting to make, like, WeTube and shit. It's Good. Make WeTube and shit. Yeah. But some of my homies have been producing for fucking hella long and shit, too. Make beautiful fucking music. Like, the homies I was just with in New York, they make crazy music. I got some homies I went to high school with. They make crazy music, crazy beats and shit, too. Yeah. Nice, man. I'm just going to keep working with them, bro. Keep working with my homies and shit. That's the whole point of it. And you, I mean, literally just kind of started, dude. Yeah. Right? And yep. this is the funnel down. So where can everybody find your music? On all streaming platforms at Fulcrum. Just search up Fulcrum. All streaming platforms. SoundCloud. You can find more of my discography on SoundCloud at the end of the day. Yeah. So SoundCloud for, Just for the music. Me, yeah. Okay. So <coughs> social media wise, because on Inst on YouTube, it's a whole different name. Yeah. Damien Luck 925. Are you ever going to switch that shit? Nah. No? Mm -mm. Oh, I say fuck it. Man. I say fuck it. That's why I was like, Marty's like, I couldn't find your TikTok. Mm -hmm. like, fuck. Gray what is it? Gray Saber. Saber. Yeah. Gray Saber. All my shit's from. different. All my shit's different. <sighs> Eventually, if you possibly can, just from from a from a fan branding standpoint, it'd be so. If you could possibly ever get it somewhat similar, it'd yeah. be the best, bro. Because I'm almost like, oh, that it would one definitely be ideal. underscore. But uh, at the end of the day, I kind of like it how it is. Yeah, if, if you're gonna do whatever you're gonna do, yeah, for sure. Because I, I my shit on Snapchat used to just be Brian Fantana from <laughs> Anchorman. And I go, you know what? It should probably say Dope as y'all on it. It's a huge Snapchat. I should probably just use my real fucking shit. Uh -huh. And then I changed it. But everybody started calling me Brian for forever. Uh -huh. That was my fucking name. Every so, name associated with his shit is probably long gone at this point. Oh, yeah. Everybody's got every version of any name you can ever think of. Fans yeah. already snatched Most that definitely. shit. Most yeah. definitely. Most so definitely. Dude, sad. it's fucking mind-blowing. The, the growth is mind-blowing. Mind it's crazy. Yeah. My full-time job, I'm about to move out this month, bro. About to move yeah. out this month. That's epic. Right before Christmas and shit, too? Hell yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully before Christmas. That would be, <coughs> that would be ideal. Mm -hmm. That would be epic. Yeah. Well, you're just getting started, man. You got, and you understand it's a marathon, so you just keep setting little goals and just keep trying to hit new levels and keep yep. pushing. Just understand it never stops. Yeah. Life shit's not easy. No. It's just not easy. And it takes up more time than you think, especially when you start making content. Then you got to balance it. Yeah. <laughs> and for a while there is no balance it's work and like yeah fuck it it's worth it it is worth it yeah especially when you're doing shit see when you talk we don't have like we only have a couple other people that do weed stuff and make it a like an actual career yeah so being able to talk to you about it, it's more of what you gotta oh, my only advice since since like this is like your full team thing do you edit your videos yes I edit my videos. It takes a lot it of time. It takes so much time. It does. Marty's my editor. I used yeah. to I used to do the skeleton, and then we just started passing it off. Yep. That's the one thing I would always suggest is try to delegate that shit to somebody. I got to get someone I trust. Yeah, yeah. You have to get someone you trust, and you have to sit with them for the first, like, four. Yeah. And it's like, this is how I would like it. And sit with them. It didn't take a while, but I promise you'll be able to put out twice as much content. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. For I sure. I just got to show them how I want it done. Exactly. Will you edit it, the first one with them. Like, this is why I cut that out. Boom. See that? No, nah, it's kind of boring. It's just move the camera. Cut that shit out. Boom. Yeah. You got to teach him to think like you think. Yep. Yeah. And me and Marty, that we're the same shit. And Marty will do some shit. I'm like, oh, I wouldn't have thought of that. Fuck yeah. I'm going to get one of my homies to do it. Do it. And then you can yeah. start fucking paying your homies. Fuck and then yeah. that's how it stay. But make sure it's not like your homie that has to learn right now. Still no. does never my edit it before. homies are very capable. And they, very you know what I mean? Like. I would have some homies like, yo, be my editor, but in a year after Learn you get Learn to be real an editor good, first. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, I need someone right now. Especially you're in the Bay. I guarantee you find that shit quick. Yeah. People hit me up all day, too. There you go. Especially like TikTok edits, this and that. Yup, yup. That's what you need, dude. TikTok's where it's at, man. I have it. I don't use it a lot, but I should. I know I need to. It's about to go down People repost your clips, though, on TikTok, huh? Uh, yeah, there's a whole page of dope of the podcast that's bigger than our TikTok of the podcast. Yeah, that's crazy. It's fucking crazy. That's fucking nuts. It's insane, dude. Yeah, we're about to get on that. Cool. Yeah, we're we have 
it just takes a lot of time. Like we're gonna like, have a team in, in about a month. Yeah, in about a, a month we move to our new spot. Like we we're saying, so we'll have people helping us do social media, cut clips, do the nice. It's just a full time job. We need somebody there. It, yeah. it takes a long time. All right, well, dude, thank you so much for being here. How long have we been here? Two time. Oh damn! Two hours. Damn! What the fuck? That flew Quirk by. Time. Yeah. That flew by. Oh, no yeah. fucking way. Two ten. I was damn. expecting. 47 minutes. Yeah, that's what happens. We always say, like, it, it, when you're having fun in a conversation, it'll fly. Yeah. When you're just chilling, it's gone. That's crazy. Fuck. Damn. That's crazy. 209. Good no. shit. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, I appreciate both of you guys. I appreciate you being you here, man. Thank me. you for coming out. Thank it's, you for driving all this fucking way just to come yeah. to the show. Of course, man. For real, though. Course, Thank I'm you. I'm grateful. It was great vibes talking oh, yeah. to both of you guys. Likewise, dude. It's exact. Bro, I couldn't have wanted it to be any other way. This shit was great. I'm fucking you. high right now. Me too. That one got me. <laughs> Hold up, I'm gonna take another trip to Sippington City. <coughs> Do it. <coughs> Damn, dude. I barely drink this water. I'm dying. Marty? Got anything else you want? I to love add, that sir? we're pulling from the community here and you're out there doing your own thing, and that's exactly what's supposed to happen and really getting after it, but with the message underneath things of like you know, trying to inspire the people and uplift people, you know, like I got your attention with this, but that's just the sugar of this medicine here, yeah. like this underlying message. I like yeah, that. most definitely, bro. I appreciate yeah. the that. positivity, man. I fucking love it. I, I yeah, love yeah. it. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you being here. And like I said, thank you for driving down here. Thank of you. Course. Everybody out there, go check it. Fulcrum, Gray Saber Fulcrum TikTok. Gray Saber Fulcrum TikToker. I'm going to be real. I'm not a TikToker at the end of the day. No, I barely just upload. post. Yeah, yeah, like sometimes I'll post some random ass clip. I'll be at a restaurant with a beer in my hand. And I'll say my, my my shit in the middle of the restaurant. Hell loud. <laughs> <laughs> middle of the restaurant. Hell loud. Yeah, <laughs> got to. So right after you do it, and you turn the camera off, you go. No, I'll right. go like this. I'll go like this. And stand there. Are you fucking shitting me? Whoa, my bad, my bad. My bad, my bad. Is that what you'll do to them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, incredible. Yeah. And then they don't bother you. And they're just looking at they're me. They're just like, shocked. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? And it's hella funny. Like, that's that a good way to neutralize incredible. everybody. You go through my TikToks, I do that in hella restaurants, and the people in the background are like, what the fuck is wrong with this and guy? And do you do it just because it made me laugh? Yeah. I love you so much right now, bro. I'll fucking pretend to spit in my hand all the time in front of my homies. Like, why? Why? Because it made me fucking laugh inside. You do shit just to make yourself laugh. That's why I just did that, bro. Thank you. Yeah. I'm so happy. We respect now. that. Thank yeah. I do. Th <sighs> and I'm faded. Faded than a hole. Faded than a hole. Faded than a hole. Faded than a hole. <laughs> Yo, the stance. I, I like how you it. just stun motherfuckers at their job. Like, what, huh, what the, the fuck? I would yeah, laugh my ass off if I walked and I saw somebody doing that. Instantly, like, oh, I fuck people, with you. People in the comments are like, all those dudes are NPCs in the background. They're like, Fulcrum, how do I get, how do I not have social anxiety? And then people reply, you got to think everyone's an NPC, bro. Not, we are in the Matrix. But not everyone's an NPC. Every, like, we all are human beings, and we all live, like, our complex lives, bro. Yeah. And at the end of the day, you're not going to go see that person. Like, oh, that person I'm embarrassed? Fool's from Iowa. Yeah. I'll never see him again. Yeah, facts, facts, facts. Yeah, like, facts. Oh, also, who cares? See him again. Yeah. It doesn't matter what they think. And it's it like, do you really care? You don't really actually care. No, no, no. No, no so no, it's no. like, just do whatever you want to do. Even though they're like, what the fuck is wrong with this fucking kid, bro? Peculiar. Peculiar. Well, thank you for ending it off with that. I, sp I fake spit my hand off and just to make myself laugh. So thank you very much. I got you too, but I'll do it for real. No, don't do it. That actually looked fake as fuck. No. That was an L spit. L this spit is way more spit. dramatic. Yeah, mine's <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> mine's disgusting. I feel like if I try to make that sound, I actually will. Will spit. Yeah. yeah. No, I feel you. So I love skill. the way we ended this con yeah. this oh, no, conversation. I'm, I'm tripping. I got dope all over my. I head, got bro. dope all over my. Head. You know my homie OG. Uh, That's what he would say. I got dope on me. Damn it. Yeah, I'm fucked up. No, I appreciate you, man. Thank you for being yeah, here. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Also, thank you for spreading the positive message on your channel, man. And hopefully, you hit that mill soon. It's coming. That'd be the fastest I think I've seen anybody ever hit a million, man. I'm, I've been saying January. 
Things are from your projections shit in the back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh shit. That January. shit's in like three weeks. <laughs> Maybe middle of January. I'm gonna keep pushing. I'm gonna keep good pushing. Good shit. Let's go. Good shit, dude. Hell yeah. Well, Marty, thank you very much for being here. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much for being here. Guys, this has been the Dope As Usual podcast. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Have a dope-ass day. We still have one fat-ass joint left. (laughs) Good shit, dude. Hell yeah, that was chill, bro. Thanks, man. Damn, over two. That was 215. You guys need to do a lot more for sure. That was entertaining. I like that. That was fun, man. That shit was funny as fuck. Good shit. (laughs)